What's popping, YouTube? What's what's popping? Can I? Sorry, I <laughs> I have a little thing to like timestamp stuff in case there's something I want to clip for later, and I just always forget to press the button. Zen's here. Zen saying hi to YouTube. Happy late birthday, Zen, and hello, Ari. <laughs> I don't. Is it Zen's birthday? Zen, is it your is it your late birthday? I did not know that. <laughs> I didn't know that if it is. But hello, penguin. It was yesterday. Happy late birthday, Zen. Sorry, I was not around at all yesterday. I um I didn't know that. Sorry. What day was that? That was at 10. I'll keep that in mind next time. You have the same birthday as Mario. <laughs> Back with food. What's up, Roth? I'm just doing a solo real quick because Ellie was taking too long. So YouTube, real quick, in case, because, I mean, you weren't here for the earlier part, I explained the whole challenge. We're doing another one of the stupid Fall Guys challenges, the ones where everything's difficult and you are just in hell for four hours. So, that's just it. We have to win, like, five games, I think. You have to win a solo duo squad and then two hexa hexathon. And there's some other challenges, but no one cares about those. Like, those are the ones that, like, you'll get as you play anyway, right? So, I got sushi and got stabbed. Uh, oh! Interesting. Do you get like a tattoo? I can't tell what that means. More people should get tattoos. I love tattoos, dude. I want so many more. I'm actually, I might start, um, Scrub and I want to go to and like start MMA again. Or like for me again. I don't know if he's done it before. But, um, I've done MMA before, so I'll, I'll have kind of a head start on him. Um, and I want to get like bulky in the arms so that I can get tattoos on the arms. Because I've avoided the arms for now because. Like, if I ever work out, I don't want it to, uh, you know. I don't want it to, like, stretch or, or shrink or whatever. Because so many different things can happen. It's just all bad. Piercing! Oh, I'm still a minor. Oh. Ha, <laughs> El Bozo. Dude, I, I... Helix piercing, that's pretty cool. My sister has a lot of piercings. I don't like piercings that much. Like, I like them. I like the ones that I have. But I don't think I would get too many more. Maybe an eyebrow? Eyebrow stud, I don't mind too much. But there's so many. I'm so excited to get a tattoo. Do you have plans for one? Skinny arms are a tattoo deterrent for me? Yeah, no, for real. I mean, that's why I got it. Like, I got it on the chest where it's not going to grow too much. Like, it's not going to be that bad. What's up, Strook? I, I was waiting for you. I knew you'd be here. Yeah, I'm finally free. And I got one on the neck, obviously, which, again, not going to shrink too much. I'm not going to be... Or stretch too much. I'm not going to become, like... Ugh, you know? Like, I'm not going to become big. So... Yeah, I'm finally free. Dude, college was hell, bro. Also, I love how when it turns white, you can see my face just completely get blinded. Um, yo, if we win solos first try, uh, everyone's got a gift to sub. I'm not gonna lie. That's the only time I'm gonna ask for that. Everyone's got a gift to sub. <laughs> if we win first try, which is not gonna happen. I, I know my gameplay abilities. I'm pretty good at this game, but I'm not that good. I gotta play for a good, like, hour or two to get a win, I think. I've had some good days. I mean, I did get seven wins in a row in solo on my own once. Then that's how I got the unfollowable achievement, which was amazing to me. I didn't even stream that. I was just playing. So, like, it does... But that happened after I played daily for, like, a couple days. I haven't played this in, like, months. I wish I could get a tattoo. I have ideas. One would be a frog. I don't have money to gift this up. It's, it's all good. I'm just messing. No, I, um... I, uh, dude, I love tattoos. I I have so many ideas for like, so like on my left arm, I don't know if I've actually said this before. I might have. I, I say a lot. Who knows? On my left arm, I want like a patchwork sleeve, which is like, it's a sleeve of on your arm of tattoos. For anyone who doesn't know, it's a sleeve of like tattoos all on your arm, but it's like all patches. Like it's all li little separate things kind of from my understanding. I might be wrong, but um, I want that. And then I want a proper sleeve on my right arm. So, proper sleeve meaning, like, the entire thing is filled in. Um, which, I cannot wait for that. If I manage to create... If I manage to... Come on, Ari, please. If I die here, I'm gonna be really annoyed. Ah! Please, go! Thank you! Oh my god, it did it. It saved me. Um, I cannot go there. I'm gonna wait for it to go by. Yeah, okay. Um, if I manage to desi design a sleeve... That's gonna be awesome. That's one of the coolest things I think I could ever do. <laughs> ah, no! <laughs> I moaned. <laughs> that sucks. Okay, it's okay. 
Uh, I have a lot of good tat tattoo ideas, but yeah, I just never did it. Roth, you should. I think you would like tattoos. I think it would look good with tattoos. Adds to the Norse god, doesn't it? <laughs> Penguin, I want like all cat tattoos and a blue butterfly on left wrist. I've worn one since I was eight years old. That's fair. I always wanted tattoos when I was younger, but I like I just kind of forgot about it because like my brain just like if there's nothing that's like priority number one, generally it just leaves my mind. I'm just I don't know you know how brains will work it, they're dumb <laughs> so i kind of just ignored it I've, i forgot about the whole concept and then i saw like one of my friends gets a tattoo and i'm like oh my god we can do that we're 18. oh my god <laughs> and i immediately went and i i set one up i sent up a point an appointment then we just drove there we we like we i'm telling the story totally out of order <laughs> we went there we just made an appointment without really think about it after i i came up with an idea which was the celeste tattoo which i just how did i point at the wrong side it's here <laughs> is it here D dude the mirror is yeah it's here the mirror on the camera it always messes me up um i've always just remembered it and it would be, probably be my first one that's pretty good that's fair um let's just play another ellie's not here yet I, I'm gonna get Ellie and Roth in here, but when Ellie shows up, then I'll invite Roth and we can do like squads. Um, which hopefully should be the easiest win. I think I think we can get it. I think we can. But yeah, um, what was I saying? <laughs> I lost my tweet at that. Uh, yeah, without really thinking about it, I, 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 I was looking for a bunch of ideas because I there's a lot of stuff that's important to me and it kind of leaves my brain. So I was trying to think like what's really important to me that I would love, and I was like. Ooh, Celeste was like one of my first few completions on Xbox. If I if I remember correctly, it might have been. But also it just was important to me. And then I was like, and I just found the tattoo image on Pinterest or whatever. And I was like, this looks amazing. <laughs> and uh, like, I was just like, the strawberry wings are just perfect for me. I love it. And then I was like, you know, whatever, we'll take it. So I didn't think about it much. Even, yo, this tattoo, this one was one of my most spontaneous ones. Like, I mean, I only have two, you know. Ellie, thank you for the resub. I will bring you into the call right after this game's done. Um, welcome, bro. I'm available ASAP. Sick. You and Roth are in chat, so I will invite you both after this solo's done. Um, and if anyone else wants to play Zen, I, I, I think you'd play, right? Anyone else wants to play, uh, let us know. And you better be good. <laughs> Please be good, because we need to get a win. Um... Zen, you do play? Alright, we'll get you in. I don't want no stinky little randos. Not to... <laughs> not to dog on rando, the person. Um, <laughs> yeah, but... Um, this this neck tattoo, very spontaneous. I literally... Someone sent it to me. And... Um, and I, I was just... She was like, yo, this tattoo would be perfect for you. Because it's a red panda and it's got a knife. And I was like, this is awesome. And then I immediately called... Uh, a tattoo place that I wanted to try out um, and I was like hey can we just like set up like a, a consultation and then the the woman there was like yeah, yeah I got you like we'll set one up I go and I see the tattoo and it's way bigger than I planned on it being just so that it doesn't smudge and I was like do I really want to do this and I just said screw it I'm already here I'm not gonna say no now and I just got it and like I just I just set up the appointment for whenever the next few days because you can't do it on the day of the consultation and uh, yeah I just got it. It's a little reminder to myself that I can do whatever I want. <laughs> I am the god of my own creation. That's what this tattoo means to me. I, that's like the first time in a while that I've actually messed up that jump. That's such an easy jump. I don't know what I'm doing. So I need Ellie here, man. He's my boy. There we go. <laughs> uh... What am I, what am I, what did I miss? Uh, any luck? What are you talking about? Just in winning? Cause no, no. I've played two games. This is my second game. And the first one I just threw completely. This music's still such a bop. Yo, when is this season ending? I want new things. <laughs> I'm getting impatient, bro. They did this last season too. They it went on way too long. But last season they were like, I think wasn't last season the one they were trying to like prepare for. Um, or is this season two of the free for all stuff? 
I should not remember. I'm launched for whenever you need me. Sick. Yeah, right after this game. I got you guys. Uh, we can hop in Ellie's server. He's got better <laughs> latency or whatever. I don't know. I'm excited for when I become an adult and I can just spontaneously get more earrings or piercings. Yeah. So yeah, that was a conversation we we're having. Dude, I'm getting distracted so much. This is so I now that I'm actually like in my brain about it, I notice so much how like I just get distracted every time I talk on stream. This is it's it because I was watching some old VODs because I was gonna edit them. I was gonna do like a best of January, and then I just decided I did two streams in January. There's no point. So I'm that's the video that's coming out soon is best of February because of that I did more stuff then. Um, so yeah, I was rewatching my VODs and I, I, I'm just like, holy crap, I talk and then I just forget what I was talking about. And who knows how many convers- Ari, please! Who knows how many conversations I've like actually made it through and how many conversations I've just left- left for you guys to like figure out what the ending was. Especially because so often I'm solo. Like so often I play alone. Like at least when I'm with Ellie- EW! You dumb lobster! Hey! You dumb lobster. Anyway, <laughs> sorry. Um, when I'm with Ellie and them, at least they might like remind me, hey, you were saying something and then didn't say it. So like, you know, keep going. But when I'm alone, like there's no promise, you know, because chat is just as distracted as I am half the time. There is no, why are there no spinners? Normally there's a bunch of thingies and they hit you. I don't think I'm going to make it. I'm not going to make it. I didn't make it. <laughs> well, that sucks. All right. Ari, when's your cooking stream? I'm gonna be honest, I tried to cook like two eggs earlier and I failed that. So like, I, <laughs> if you want a cooking stream, I'm, I'm down, but like, even lasagna, the lasagna I made for YouTube, that was like undercooked. <laughs> like the inside, the filling was good, but the actual pasta was undercooked. So take that as you will. I don't mind. I'm, I'm just, just throwing it out there. Um... Everyone hop into, as in everyone, as in Roth and uh, Fanny, not Fanny, <laughs> Zen, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> hop into the streaming live channel. We're gonna, what's good, bro? Skrr! Skrr! How you doing, Ari? Dude, how you doing? I saw you like four hours ago. Yeah, I forgot. I completely forgot. I <laughs> almost fell asleep. Then I, I watched like the first half of my game and we are losing currently, which is what I'm trying to set up on my monitor right now. <laughs> oh, I <laughs> forgot you were gonna you were gonna watch alongside, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ellie's watching a soccer game while playing Fall Guys, because he's not streaming. Losing today. against Nashville. I'm so sad. Well, don't spoil it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think anyone cares. <laughs> dude, I really wanna dude, can you start watching hockey so we can like bond over hockey? Oh I guess if you start watching yeah, I guess I could. I want to watch soccer you, too, or football, whatever you, you want to call watch, it. Uh, do you watch hockey? I, What's up, Zen? I would like to. Yo, oh, Zen, are you in? What's good? Yeah, I would. I want to watch uh, hockey, and I have it on Hulu. So at any time, I could. I just haven't had the motivation. But like, if someone, yeah. if I'm watching with someone, and we're like rooting for teams and shit, like I would love it. Yeah, Very fun. Yeah, yeah, I feel it. It's more fun. A lot of things are more fun when other people like it as well. Yeah. On God. On God. Oh my God. One of my friends from campus I just saw is in... Is watching. <laughs> so you invite me or what? No, I don't like you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Forgot I had to do that. Honestly. Rod said, uh, gotta do something real quick. So let's just play with the rando, I guess, if he doesn't get back in time. And yeah. And if he fails us, um, uh, we will. Uh, I do don't you want to. Um, no offense to Zen, but do you want to do it up while we wait for Roth? Do you want to do it? We can do it. And then Zen. It's up to you. It's your stream. Yeah, yeah. Let's do it. Do it. And then Zen, you and Roth can hop in when uh, Roth is back. Uh, Oi. Oh, sorry. sorry. Legendary. I, I What'd you do? Did you leave me? I accidentally invited you. Can you re-invite me? No, just... I could have just joined you as well. <laughs> yeah, but I'd rather you control all that stuff. Because I'm busy watching a game, you know? What's the score? Uh, I don't know yet. What do you mean you don't know yet? I thought you were setting it up. I, that's what I'm doing. How's it going? Q, is that you? Dude, your name is so dark on my screen. Yeah, it is. What's good, Q? I miss you, bro. I have not been on campus much lately. 
I don't know why. I just, I just, <laughs> I've did been. Did you invite me? Yeah, I did. Okay. I have, in my fact. Bad, my bad. Okay, cool. Q, so thank you, you for the sub with Prime. You know, for this one. I think. Yo, sub with Prime? Logan Paul? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, remember, you can sub with Twitch Prime, free money, and all that. Thank you so much, Q. That's so kind, bro. I'll just vibe here until Rod's be back. Sounds good, bro. I'm Arya's best friend, Rook. Sure. Sure, Struck. I have frog slippers and uh, penguin hat. Ellie has frog slippers. Really? Yep. Yep, 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 yep. You can't see my feet right now, but if you could see my feet, you'd see I'm, I have. Bro, I've slippers. never seen your feet. You refused to send me a snap. I've seen your foot. Yeah, I know. Everyone has. By the way, <laughs> if you want to see Ari's foot, here's the link to the Discord. <laughs> <laughs> It's exposure. <laughs> yeah, Discord. <laughs> if you join my Discord, you can see my feet. <laughs> it's one of the there emos. Of course, Roth comes back as soon as we start a game. Roth, okay. we started a duos because you weren't here yet. Uh, you and Zen are going to hop in after this duos. That's what's going to happen. Um, <laughs> yeah, I have a foot emote because I don't know. I, I think I was in video call in my server yeah. once. You, and you were showing your Roomba, I think. And someone's uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I was, I think I was around my kitchen. I was making food, and then my Roomba was like hitting my feet, and people were like, or I was like, that's so annoying. People could hear the noise through my headphones, and they're like, what is that? <laughs> so I point down, and I just can't avoid showing my feet because my feet are right there. <laughs> and someone took a I screenshot. Feet. <laughs> it wasn't me though. I wasn't that. One. Yeah, it wasn't you. It was probably mine or something. It was, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't remember who it was. I know mine was there. I know Lane was there. Oh, you lane. <laughs> Calling out lane for no reason. <laughs> I feel like lanes might be into feet. Um, I don't know. I think you might. Actually. I uh, am into yours. Me? You are into mine. Yeah. I've never seen them though. Yeah, that's you what I'm saying. Like, that's shaped like flowers. That's sick. That's awesome. That would be awesome. Right? That's flowers, what I've been trying to say cool. to people. Like flower feet would be nice, but no one, everyone's like, uh huh. Okay, but that's like saying exactly. cauliflower ears would be nice. Like they're they're <laughs> not nice. Some, some people are into that. Into, I mean, I, it, yeah, it means you're a fighter. Like, if you're fighting, then yeah, you will get called. I messed up already. The ace. You messed me up. I also messed up. I'm an imbecile. Okay. Exactly what you did. I did. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, then we get it here. Yep. Oh, good. I have a gremlin emote made of me by Cheeky. Good job, Cheeky. Yo, oh, Roth, yeah. Roth put a period in his comment. I think he hates me, guys. <laughs> he put not all good. Period. He's being like a uh, Phoenix SC. <laughs> or Etho. Or Etho, or, yeah. Or Mango. Literally all of them. I don't know why all the, the YouTubers Dude, say it like I that. I don't know. They're like of the generation that types like that. I don't They're know. like the smart YouTubers. That's true. That is true. Yeah. It's the people who, yeah, it's the people who make stuff like, because Phoenix does a bunch of coding stuff, Phoenix right? became more meme now because it gets more clicks, but he used to be like smarter. But even the memes, I mean, I don't know. I don't uh, see some of the new stuff because I barely watch YouTube. But I, I remember some of the old stuff that he was like memeing. He always would still code stuff like that aligned yeah, with the meme. Yeah, he still So it's still like stuff. difficult, you know? Yeah. yeah. Oh, ho, ho. He's pretty smart. Yeah, those guys, Etho, <laughs> Phoenix. <laughs> dude, yeah, dude, all of them use punctuation. It's so creepy. Yo, I hate period. it. It freaks me out. I this feel like I, I don't did something text bad. Them. Yeah, for real. <laughs> I text, I text, I've texted Mango before and I've texted Phoenix before and Phoenix and I are chill from what I know. <laughs> like, I think, I think yeah. he likes me. So I, I never worried. Same with Mango. Um, cause every time I joined call, Mango would be like super, you know, oh, like, Hey Ari, what's good? <laughs> so I was like, okay, we're good. I never texted Etho. I, I refused. I was not going to deal with it with three people. It's yeah. so freaky. It scares me. <laughs> I did not mean no. that in a passive aggressive way. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, crazy. <laughs> uh, <laughs> wound, yeah. Oh, we won this. One rhino and the center glitch. Easy. Yeah, but if we die, we're pretty much out. Yeah, if we die here, we deserve to be out. <laughs> yeah. If you have the center and one rhino, what are you like? How are you gonna lose it? It's happened. Like just unlucky, and it just happens. Just be better, man. But I'm just pushing people out. To give myself like a little shield moment. Honestly, I feel like not being in the middle is better. 
Honestly, I don't think like it being, matters either being way. Being on the outer ring, I feel like it's better because then you can you can control where you are, and the rhino focuses the middle. All right, how about you stay in the outer ring and I'll stay in the middle, and we'll see who yeah. survives. And if we both survive, then we're we'll both right. I feel like I'm more comfortable here. I can just go like here, and then I can go the opposite way. I'm scared to message you and Ellie sometimes. I I don't know why. Actually, no, I know why. Oh. I'm pretty sure Strick was scared to message me for a while because I was always mean. <laughs> I'm always mean to everybody. Yeah. Then apparently scared to message me, but then will show me whatever she's talking about. She'll go like, oh wait, I'll show you. And she sends a picture of whatever she's talking about. <laughs> Every time. <laughs> I'll only be able to play for like an hour-ish. Or we have an hour to beat this game. To beat squads. That's what we can grab. Penguin. Penguin plays as well. I don't know how long. Penguin Honestly, I think I think we would easily beat squads in a, in an hour, right? Surely. I think so. Yeah, squad is probably the easiest. I feel. <laughs> me scared of you, please. All right, sure, sure thing. Bro, everyone calls me babyface. You can't even see it, but I've been like, I've been growing up my. See. Oh. <laughs> 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 No, I've been growing out my facial hair a little bit. Yeah, you can't even see it on camera. Um, I, if I grow it out for like three or four days, it gets itchy. Like, I hate it right now. But I'm just I too lazy to shave it. so long that it goes over my lips. Then when I eat, it's just, uh, I hate it. Yeah. You've got a good full beard though, right? Almost. Last I'm, time I'm I saw you. I'm grow it. Like, Dude, I have some oh patches here and there. But yeah, it is. Do you I mean, have patches on like the left and right of your lip, basically? Yeah. Yeah, dude, we. I think we might actually be long lost siblings. <laughs> like, my we have beard the same is fairly genetics. Low. I don't know where it is. My beard is fairly low. I would like it to be a little bit higher, but I can't control it. Yeah, I, I, um, I just don't and like facial like, hair. Like, it's just not my vibe. Mm, I have like random long hairs on my cheek that are just there. Yeah. The pain of growing facial hair. Yeah, I feel it. Oh, what are you doing? Why are you doing that? Oh. I think it's this one. Whee! Oh, I hate this one. This is the worst. Is that where it uh, touches? I can't believe you were scared of me. Oh, it's this one over it's here. It's this one, yep. I can't believe you were scared of me. Well, I mean, I can believe. It's just everyone is scared of me for no reason. Like, I'm super approachable. But I don't know. I guess because, oh, big YouTube guy. Yeah. Scary. I'm literally like the easiest person you'll ever contact. You go to my Discord and I'm there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Unless you know him, then he's like bullying you. Like he, yeah, he like verbally beats the crap out of me every time we talk. <laughs> yeah, last time you came here. Yeah, I came. I came. To, I came to Montreal and he like started whipping me. It was really messed up. Yeah. I'm like yo, your facial beard looking too similar like mine. Bam! Grab the chancleta, throw it. <laughs> bam on your face. <laughs> Yeah. And they were like, freaking tomate, why are you doing that? Then he called his brother, sister, and dad, and they all, like, helped. <laughs> it was really messed yeah. up. It was a 4v1 that I lost. Ari was on the floor. <laughs> and we were just kicking them. <laughs> they, they couldn't do much. They were just there crying, and we were just kicking them like that. Yeah, that's why I haven't <laughs> streamed in so long. I was just trying to recover <laughs> from the battery. We were bonding over that. Like, it really made my family much stronger. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dude, those are moments you have to cherish. I'm, I'm the it's opposite of a homewrecker, yeah. I, I make families come <laughs> together through my pain. You should offer your services to like couples that are struggling. <laughs> they both get to beat the crap out of me and make themselves <laughs> feel better. It's like, you know what? I really like that one that one just punch in the dick that you did. Yeah, I like that too. Thanks, then, thanks, babe. <laughs> once you make enough money, you can even expand, hire people. You can hire people to take to the beating with beaten. me. Yeah. <laughs> Not with you. I mean, that would be an extra, maybe. But, like, you could offer, like, different, like, I don't know. You could offer different people. Oh, do you want this skinny dude over here? Or do you want this dude with the red hair? <laughs> do you want to be the ginger? <laughs> <laughs> you could have, like, I would describe myself in Roth, but you know. <laughs> but you could, you could, like, I don't know. You could offer, like, a catalog of people to beat up. That, yeah. 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 Pretty sure that's yeah, illegal. And, and you, you, nah, it's a business. <laughs> nah, it's Remember, a business. Everything goes. Capitalism. If 
people can get like drugs in the street. You can probably. Yeah, <laughs> that's also illegal. <laughs> what are you talking about? That's also it's only not illegal allowed. if you get caught. That, that's I'm a millennial. True. <laughs> I'm a Gen I, Z. I mean, huh? Gen Z. <laughs> I think you New just. Crime, huh? I, I think you just created Fight Club. I think that's what happened. Oh, no, because this is counseling. Oh, my bad. It's also one of them. You know when you, when you. When you, you know when, you know when you, when you, when you, when you, when he, when, and you want, and you, you know them extreme rooms where like you can break everything with like a baseball bat. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I love those. Yeah. yeah. I wish you could go with one. That thing. Yeah. It's called you, my room. It, it would be that. It, it's a bridge room, right? Something like that. Yeah. No, it's called my bedroom. Uh, I don't, oh, your bedroom. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, that, but with people, instead of like breaking like plates and stuff. You, you break could, people's bones. <laughs> yeah. You beat up people that are sending and you pay them for it. yeah even better if that person's a masochist exactly i didn't want to say it but that's what <laughs> i was referring to earlier you could get people <laughs> oh crap i'm dead <laughs> no okay we're good i'm carrying <laughs> <laughs> i don't like this one. Oh, i got grabbed oh there's a grabber here i'm just gonna chill this guy grabbing guys if i do Who's... bad today it's because i'm playing on my xbox that doesn't mean anything really. Like it's the same exact thing, but like I'm Almost. gonna blame it on that. Oh, I'm gonna die here. I'm oh, die. oh, it's all good. Third place, we're good. Mm. Are we though? F fifth place, we're good. There's no place. Six, seventh place, getting... no, no way. Sixth place gets okay. Through. Okay, we're good. Yeah, yeah. They're not even getting points. Okay, we're good. Yeah, we're balling. We're balling. <laughs> and then everyone no, laughed at Rod's joke. <laughs> Wait, what was wrong? Uh, Velcor plays. Thank you for the follow. Who needs a hey, therapist Bell. when you can be a therapist? Hope you're, hope you're feeling good today. What'd you say? Uh, Vel is sick. Vel? Okay. I hope you're feeling good. Hello, Vel. Hope you're feeling better. There's a... Um, you know the, the Rage Room concept? I thought of it when yeah. I was a kid. You I, thought I, of I Rage Rooms when you were a kid? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And bro, I, was, I, like, was, bro like, was like throwing yo. a temper tantrum and he was like, I could capitalize on this. <laughs> Legit, I was super angry and I was like, wouldn't it be cool if you could like, I don't know, bring your own plates to a room and like just throw them and break them? And, you see, uh, mother. Like, you would offer the room. <laughs> you see, mother, and when then... I broke all our fine china, it was just a test <laughs> to make sure that, that this product would be suitable for a wider audience. <laughs> I could bring this service to the country. <laughs> You're the definition of the nerd emoji. <laughs> <laughs> Just testing the waters over here, mama. Dude, but yeah, I thought of it when I was a kid, and then it came out for real. Like, there was, it became like super popular, and I was like, yo, that's my idea. <laughs> Another <laughs> kid thought of it at the same time. <laughs> uh, and that one had more motivation. I really hate this game. One. Do not get that gold, damn it. Gosh, no, no, I said damn it. You did? <gasps> you say big words here. You say big people words. <laughs> the big people words. These are the words for the big people. There's a golden over there. Did we get it? We have not. Oh, Ever oh, oh come here, come here, come here. Ah, no. <laughs> RDS! Didn't, didn't get it. I was going for the gold, boys. Did All Brad the golds it? are on this side, blue. bro. Feels like, yeah, I haven't seen a single one. Every single gold has been on this side. What we'll just change sides? Oh, come on. I'm never won a single one. Come on, I got it. I got a gold. Let's go. Nice. That's Dude, huge. our teammate almost threw it away. There's another gold over here, bro. Everything's on this side. What is happening? Okay, you can, you can stay there. Oh my gosh, blue is catching up. Gold here. Oh, they're getting it. Red, stop. Leave us to. Yo, red is like double our points and they won't chill. Come on. Bro, we might lose this, bro. No, bro, bro! Oh my god, homie! homie. Why is this red guy catching me, you bro? That you're one. winning! Why are you griefing? <laughs> Why are you griefing? We need oh no, one of our bro. yellows... Dude, one of our yellows went through the yellow hoop and got stuck in the middle. What are like, you, you know, doing? We're losing. I'm we are losing. I'm oh my god, one. there's another gold over here and blue's gonna get it. God damn it. There's a gold over there. Red guy, you don't need it. Oh my 
gosh, we. Oh my god. Gold! Uh, come here! I got it! Uh, we That's still we still won't be able to win, yeah. Bro, what do we even do here? And now This red, red guy is ruining bro. my day, dude. He's stealing all my thing. Oh my god, I don't want to play with you anymore. <laughs> I don't want to play in game anymore. <laughs> Guys, we lost. Guys, we lost. I hate this game. All right, bro. Rotten Zen, hop red. in. Why did they need 90? Why did they need 90? Freaking heck. Back out. Rotten Zen, you're in. I'm not back in, no. <laughs> what do you mean you're not back <laughs> I'm respawning. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so angry, I'm gonna keep playing. Welcome back. Hello. Welcome back. Welcome. Bro. I forgot doubles were on double XP. It's uh, oh yeah, it's pretty good. I'm I'm honestly I might get to 200 like tier 200 just just because of this. What tier are you? 120 ish, 124. Okay. Oh, uh, you gotta invite them by the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah I just remembered. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Rot you is Rot then? Where's Rot? Yeah. Rot, it's not Rot you. It's Rot who? Rot, I'm sorry. Rot, Rot you. Got my mic no. skin on. You know what? It's the skin. My, yeah. skin. my skin isn't good enough. No. <laughs> if you guys saw the UHC, this is what Roth was wearing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, this skin's better. Shoes would complete my outfit. Let's go, boys! Let's win this. Faux show. Sorry, I had the biggest yawn. I am tired. I woke up fairly early. I woke up at... It's crazy how you keep calling out stuff that we can't even hear. Like yesterday, Ellie and I and, and Af were playing uh, playing Fortnite, and he randomly goes, "Oh, sorry guys, I just farted. I was trying to keep it silent." And we were like, "Yeah, it was silent until you called it out. <laughs> you were fine. Even this time, yeah. you didn't you didn't have to say anything. We didn't hear the yawn. You were good. You were safe." Oh. Well, I still wanted you guys to know that I farted because it's really important for me. <laughs> Thanks, man. If your friends tell you when they farted or when they go poop, it's because they actually care for you. This is this is why we're best friends, man. See, if I didn't tell you I was gonna poop, it's because I'm not comfortable enough with you to be like, yo, I gotta poop. And that just means like we're not close yet. We're not there yet, you know? Like we're not. We're not there we're just yet. Like, yeah, exactly. Jeez. Yeah. Are you ready for Trelly Top Trumble? Trelly top tumble. I kind of do that with everyone. Yeah. I kind of do. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> so really, it means nothing. Uh, I guess. All right, here we go. We're gonna get the W right here. If we don't win this, uh, it's all your fault. Stole the frogs. Oh, where are the frogs at? <laughs> Zen goes. Oh. <laughs> No, we got a good part. I got body block. I stole the frogs at the beginning. That's why they're not there. In this game, to just make everyone else like transparent, lose, like, make me no. interact with you. Man, this game would be awesome if everyone else just lost. Like if you can get grabbed and you can get a body block. And, what is happening? Actually, if oh. you were, if it was just you every round, that'd be awesome. <laughs> if you were the only one playing every round, that'd be sick. Yeah. Bro wants it's to play this like his childhood round. games. First place, let's go. No well, worry. This it's because Zen was controlling the frog, frog, frogs, the frogs. Frogs? 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 Mine? Rock is in, boys. We're all in a solid 200 points. Yeah, I was taking it slow so you could get first. Thank you. I appreciate <laughs> it. Ari, I sent you the stream kit if you wanted. You yeah, you did, and I ignored it. <laughs> I was too lazy. I was already set up. I was, it's all I was like, forget it. I am the frog whisperer. Yeah, I also just don't respect you as a person, so. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> I thought that, that, that was either reason one or two. I'm glad it's reason two. Yeah, I got you. Yo, this guy's struggling. Are we watching the same guy, <laughs> Gabby? Yeah. Bro! <laughs> Dude, it's not that difficult. <laughs> he's going to be sent back to where he's starting. <laughs> Bro, it's a bot, I think. There's no way. Oh, 
finally. My guy decided to move on. <laughs> this is the definition of insanity. Right? Oh my gosh. This is the loading screen uh, syndrome. Content creators usually don't talk during loading screens. Something that uh, my friend Cameron pointed out. I had to clear I'm my super throat. I'm self-conscious now. Because every time it happens. No, honestly, it's so... The thing is, like, I've created content since I was, since I was really young. Like, I, I grew up always wanting to, like, kind of learn how to perform and edit and, like, do that stuff. So, when I was younger, I would always play, like, games and make little, little... Mini talk to yourself, basically. So you yeah, talk yeah. To yourself. Yes, I mean, that's... Okay. Yeah, yeah, You're that's what every... That that's what talks. any content... Yeah. Okay. Um, that's yeah. what you do on your own streams. I don't even want to hear it. No, I'm talking to people. I'm also talking. Well, you to were talking to no one. Like <laughs> when you were a kid, you were talking. I was to making. No one. <laughs> I was making. I was making YouTube videos. And I would play Minecraft or whatever. And every like loading screen, I would either be like, "Should I talk here? Like, or should I just cut it out later? Like, like, like what? What? Yeah, you know, it's it's that thing. But like that's when you're making a video. So now when I am streaming, I know I can't cut it out. So the only option is to talk. Yeah. Stuck in the middle with. You guys follow me. You win. Guarantee. I'm following the diaper boy. I mean, not to brag, but I was the first one through the first one. Mm. And where are you now? <laughs> uh, <I got> you. <laughs> that was so <laughs> disgusting. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Whoa, oh. look at this, look at this, look at this. <laughs> Bro said cheese. There we go. Hey, yo, we did good. Hi, Varmint. Sorry, I didn't even, I didn't even like process that you joined. <laughs> What's up, bro? Hey, Varmint. Varmin. Hey, Varmint. You lost the Varmin. OC. <laughs> Varmin, you got stuck. We had a block in the border. You lost the OC. Uh, <laughs> I was, I was gonna roast Varmint for. Losing the UHC, but we all died before he did. So. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, but we at least we played in a in a way that wasn't like cheesy hiding all the time. Yeah, my we, guy was underground fought. for like ninety minutes. We, we were like, multiple teams actually yeah. fighting. Yeah. Imagine playing. You were like predators stalking our prey. <laughs> Dude, we stalked so much. We were watching so <laughs> many people in the background. Yeah. We, honestly, I was gonna just point out, guys, we're not playing UHC, we're just people watching. Like, this is just like, <laughs> you're yeah. just sitting out and like just chilling. I was Marmite. kinda crazy though. The, you the, can't the call team. yourself. Just, uh, yeah, they just spawned in the. <laughs> portaled in behind us and we're like, oh. Like, <laughs> you're gonna oh, roast no, the guy yeah. who was two hearts the entire time and still got second place? Yeah, we were. That's the equivalent <laughs> of hiding in a bush in Fortnite. Fun GG, fact. my guy. You you hid in a bush in Fortnite. <laughs> I hit it in Bush and Fortnite and got second place, guys. Fun fact, when I wanted to edit one of your VODs, I learned that there were a ton of points that I couldn't cut out. I can't tell what that means. I'm going to assume it's a compliment of like, oh, you're so funny. I couldn't cut around all of it. <laughs> Honestly, I've tried to edit my VODs and I was like, this is like, this leads to like a funnier bit later. So should I keep it in and let the bit continue or should I just cut both parts out? And it's like... I hate editing! <laughs> I hate cutting stuff yeah. out because there's so much funny stuff that I like to keep in. I, I am part of my um, student uh, news thing, so I have to edit the stories. I'm like, but all this is good. Yeah. It's Although difficult. I'd have like 15 minute stories or something. But no, they're supposed to be like two to three minutes. The best of 2023 is going to be the worst because if I'm doing best of like each month, which is the plan, then obviously I got to do one for the year and <laughs> it's going to be like six hours long. I'm going to have to cut so much that I actually enjoy. Oh my God, please don't die right now. Ari, please. I don't know. I just hate this map so much. Like this, just this game. Yeah. I hate this variation well, with the hammer that guys. spins yeah. clockwise. I yeah, yeah, I just hate fall guys. The one in the middle sucks. I got fanned off. I was at the back and I got fanned off. That's crazy. I was only underground at the start, then border came, went above ground, found two villages, went to the center of the map, and then went underground to look for more gold. 
Yeah, only at the start and also at the end. Yeah, we're, uh, we're not. Like, and also a little <laughs> bit during the middle. We're not oh, genuinely also, roasting you for for camping, but I mean, d oh, yeah, I you know, we're well, okay. Well, no, we are. <laughs> never mind. Hundred <laughs> percent. Listen, you played with how you could play. <laughs> you know, like everyone plays. You play but, how okay, you can play. The, the people, you play the similar people, to your skill level. <laughs> the people I was genuinely roasting in the middle of that game was um, the people who sky based. That's who I was roasting. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, they're British, so what do you expect? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, this guy managed to spawn behind I mean, behind listen, the they were... That's crazy. The fact was you talk much too much during VODs, and my app didn't like an hour 17 of footage, so I grabbed my favorite clip and posted it. I, um... When do you post Ari's clip? Yeah, why would you... What do you mean you posted it? I'm confused. <laughs> when do you post Ari's clip? That's content stealing. <laughs> I'm, be I'm being thefted. No, but, like, they were smart when they did the sky base. Like, because, okay, for anyone who didn't watch the UHC, at the end, there was a there was a, a, a team that did a sky base in the last circle, and they did it out of chess, which was smart, because it was entities, as Roth pointed out, they're entities, so they can't, like, render distance stuff, you won't see them. So, it, it was a good play, but I was roasting them so much for hiding in the final circle, because the rest of us were on the ground uh, fighting, like, Crazy's team, I don't remember who the netherite team was, but there was one team who got netherite armor, Green um, team, yeah. yeah, green team. Green team was good. No green team won, yeah. <laughs> yeah, green team was way good. They were, they were really good at what they were doing. It's a good thing we didn't take that fight earlier when we were planning on it, because they would have destroyed us. Yeah. Cap told me that before they got the netherite, uh, he killed Hacks. He killed one of their teammates, but Treble and Fanny were too scared to go fight, so he had to retreat. He could have, like, they could have damaged them real bad. Yeah. Yeah, for real. <laughs> Fan, um, Strick, I have no idea what you're talking about. I did not see anything. Also, I haven't been online as much lately, so, I mean, unless you texted it to me and I missed it, I, I nah, didn't Nah, I don't want to hear it. You stole Ari's content and you yeah, posted it Yeah, you TikTok. are a thief. You, you are put, a thief. like, Subway Surfer content <laughs> on the bottom, and you Honestly, put Ari's should, video at the I should start doing that. that. That's how I get viewer retention, man. We're gonna get a yeah. goal. Easy. Let's go! Sui! 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 <laughs> Are you serious right now? Are you serious Ooh. right now? Good job. Good teamwork. Good teamwork. Hair guy. Hair guy. Ooh, the shadow Hair moves guy. now. They don't They mullet don't let man. you just sit there. Man. Ooh, I'm ball. not mullet man. Hey guys, Call hey, hey. Billy yellow team, maybe stop pushing it back into the direction that is our goal, maybe. I just, I just shared it. No, I, I added them, I swear. You tagged me? When did you tag me? I actually don't remember this. They saw my story too. I'm gonna score! Oh. I don't remember this. Why do I not remember this? Dude, Shuki's printed stickers of my character and is selling them. Really? Content, content team. How are you allowing that? Nah, nah, <laughs> I, I stuffed that, that shoe drawer. <laughs> oh, gotcha. <laughs> but it's my OC, so you can't sell it. It's mine now. Messi is better than Ronaldo. I don't remember this. this I don't remember World I Cup. don't know who said that, but I agree. It's Varman. I also don't know camper. when we started I just out half of the It's just because we said sweet. Let's go! Uh, we won. Good job, boys. <laughs> yeah, I, Ooh, half of I gotta go back and see what Strip is talking about. Give me a sec, guys. <laughs> I have no idea what they're talking about. What he's talking about. Where did my content get stolen? Where did I get robbed? Oh, I oh. swear. Jinx! Jinx oh, final! Oh, this is a good final. Let's if, go, boys. If Let's I'm go. I'm jinxed, we're screwed. <laughs> Probably. We'll jinx it. <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay, it's not, it's not me. We're all good. Who is it? It's not me. Is it me or Roth? I think it's you, Art. Oh, it's me, it's me. I'm gonna kill them all. I'm that's coming good, for your souls. Good. I'm coming for your souls. <laughs> Come here, boy. Come here, boy. You cannot escape me. You shall then. Is that a word? Shall you shall not <laughs> Oh, this guy's trying to grab me. Oh, gee, you can't do that. Whoa, where did the guys come from? Where did he come from? How are you joking me so good, my boy? Get over here. Get over here. Get over here. <laughs> Bro, what is you doing? My boy. Huh? 
How am I doing so bad, bro? I don't know, bro. All right, come here. Thank you. Got him. Good job. Run away from that guy, please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You jumped, uh, jumped over. I got a second one. Last one. Where's the last one? He's on better. top of. Oh, I got grab. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna grab him. Gonna... What? Oh. What? What? Wait, what? Ow! <laughs> Wait, that's impossible because there was three on me. How did we all get grabbed like that? What? I'm so confused. Did you guys get grabbed? Did you guys get grabbed? I did. Rock I did. Like, I, feel, I was okay. kind of in a group trying then, to yeah, run away. Okay, then Rod's probably but just got like, grabbed. Damn. I didn't feel like they got grabbed. Damn. It's okay. I was Ooh. right next to the last guy as well. I was about to grab him. Yeah, I was trying to hold him so... One of you could get him. It's alright. We and got then, this. We got this, boys. We got this. We will win next time. I mean, we got that far this time, so... Yeah, that was like, what, first try? <gasps> Frog. Oh, guys, that wasn't good enough. We're trying to win. I just sent the video in DMs. Oh, boy. What is this? Ellie, it's a frog. Oh, frog. Oh, yeah. You, got, you have a frog for me, Which That was random. Second frog in a row. <laughs> Hang on, I'll watch this on stream in a sec. I, I realize that y'all can't see what I'm looking at. I will show it to you after this game. It better be good. It better be good, Shrook. If you stole it and put it in shorts, because you definitely never... Oh, you tagged me. I don't know. I, I never got a tag on YouTube. I don't know how that works. Like I, I Why is she stored. using your content? That's I have so no idea. <laughs> I got to look at it. I got to see what it is. I'll, I'll just report it and take it down and then ban stroke and, and uh, I don't know, flame them. <laughs> I'll oh, destroy I'll all... I'll get all the revenue from it. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. I'll destroy all uh, proof that they ever existed on the internet. Oof. I actually gotta post more clips. I, I haven't posted. Uh... There's a hammer. I promoted. I don't remember. Hammer? I don't remember you ever seeing it. Honestly, posting a short, I don't really care. Um, I mean, it's gotta be good, you know. It's gotta be good. If you're just bullying you're gonna me, gonna do the Andrew Tate trick. Yo, guys, post a lot about me everywhere you can. <laughs> yes, I'm the next Tater. Epic like that I actually like women. <laughs> Your mom's a woman. Oh my That's gosh, true, nothing yeah. on the left side. Yeah, it was on the right. W. Wow, they were both on the final right ones. I'm so in the back. Guys. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. Oh my gosh. I could have just full sent it and I would have been fine. I. That's what happens when you hesitate. Never hesitate. Full send it every time. All left. Go, go, go. This game is like back on the team. Oh my gosh. There's too many people. Right one. Come on. You guys are in the front, so we should be good. Oh, get out of my way. Got it. Oh, oh my god. I hated that. I hated that. That one was so stressful. I didn't get airborne, though. I. At this point, my face off. <laughs> Ellie. <laughs> Ellie. Ellie, what are you showing off? You're showing off a bad you are <laughs> Did you see how many people there were? <laughs> <Just> <laughs> Alright. Let's go. We're gonna win this. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. Win this. Oh, yeah. Fanny really went Adi. <laughs> I hate it. I hate it. I what saw you stream mean? like an hour ago, but I couldn't join. It's it's a it's a Indian thing. It's a I don't know. Maybe not just Indian. I don't know. Hey. How are you? I'm good, bro. I'm good. I'm vibing. I'm vibing. I might curse in the stream. I'm just warning you right now. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying not to because Ellie's here. But just what get the right out there. To do with anything. <laughs> It's not I, don't my stream. I don't know. Cause I I Yo Ellie's here. People Ellie people motivates me to not <laughs> No, because people are more likely <laughs> to watch because of you being here. And I don't wanna like disrespect your community like that. Yeah, but it's your content. Yeah, but we all know that a large portion of your community is here. <laughs> we all know that's how it goes. Oh, this one's like grab. this one's gonna be like proper difficult. Right. Be careful, boys. Yeah. Nah, we got this, we got this. I know this. There's only three rhinos here. I've seen more. Oh, only three, which is yeah. mad. I've Dude, seen I've more. Wow, 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 wow. I've already got one. 75. 75 rhinos and I won. 
Yeah, I blame the I guy would... with the pride flag grabbing me. Oh my gosh. Wow, Rock. Dude kept grabbing me. Wow. Wow. Simply... I just got launched out of the map. No chance. Why specifically the guy with the pride flag? I... Ask them. They're the one that grabbed me. Good point. Good point. Seems kind of like a hate crime. Not gonna lie. <laughs> okay, we're back in there. We're back in there. I knew you guys would make some sort of base right under the surface in this UC because Ellie did it last time. We, di we didn't do that. We stole that no, we from someone else. We stole the base. Yeah, yeah we, we never based. We, like, we the only never... time we based was the cave. Yeah, we based then... at the very beginning. We had a, we spawned right next to a giant cave. So we went down there, made a base in there, got settled, got enchanted, all that stuff. I, were we the only people with enchanted gear, by the way? I think so. I'm pretty sure. So we, we got enchanted all that, and then um, when we got to like final circle, we had killed two of their friends, and it was the last person. I don't remember the person's name. My bad. Um, it was Willie's Willow's team, right? Yeah. Um, Martin or something. Martin. Martin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was their Minecraft username? Yeah. So we we killed Martin, and Martin took out Roth, and then Ellie and I based in there for a bit. Well, and then, Roth kind of took himself out. To yeah, Roth, the Roth fell yeah, into the hole. You were like, lava bucket. I lava bucket. Then they broke out the block I was standing on, and I fell in. But what's even what's Water. even funnier is that Crazy went in there later and got lava yeah. bucketed. Like that was yeah, that yeah, was yeah, that was the lava hole, bro. Like that was not your place to be. <laughs> oh, that's funny. We did good though. I'm proud of us. We that tried. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we played in a way that I'm proud of. Yeah, we played in a way that I'm... made me not hate UHCs as much. Like, I actually had fun. Ooh, sorry, what a save. Oh my gosh. Okay, sorry. <laughs> I'm salty. I didn't actually get credit for the, the guy that was in the air that I kept shooting. How do we have no points? Yeah. What are we doing? Because these blue guys are grabbing me like idiots. That was the most annoying crap I ever witnessed. My God, how did we not touch the penguin once in that whole time frame? Okay, one of us has it. Get out of here. Not for long. Blue. You know what? I'm ruining your day, blue. Get out oh, of here. I have it. I have it. Go, go, go. go run, sorry, run. sorry. I was trying to grab the blue. Yes. Why? Good running, good running. Keep it up. Yeah, just nice give me the penguin. This, this, this can all be over. Just give me the penguin. I won't have to find where you live. <laughs> you I'm can't say that, Dwight. Oh my god. Come on, boys. Go for it, go for it, go for it. Someone's oh, you need to stop grabbing! Peppino! Come on. Just got grab it. it! Okay, you got it. If you got it, I'm confident. Oh, you ran into the other crew. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Got it. Okay. Why is the red grabbing me? God. Dude, red is actually throwing. Dude, that's like the most annoying teammate ever. Why do we keep losing the team games? It's oh god. The team, oh, team man. game. There's a gold one. Oh, that's why they're there's, getting oh, so many there's points. There's a gold one. Yeah, we're not coming back. Why is get this gold not one. letting me grab? Well, I'm, I'm on the gold one right now. If I can grab it. Grab it, grab it, grab it. I, like uh, I missed it. Where'd it go? Ass with I lost it. There it is. There you go, freaking heck. I'm gonna destroy someone. Oh my god. I'm actually gonna fight someone. Bro. Dude, I'm so pissed off at our team. I'll, I'll join you. I got it for the last two seconds. Ellie, I'll join you in fighting someone. I had it on and off for so much but just like the blue and yellow would like stop fighting just to take it away from me that pisses me off that very much gets to me bro that was so annoying all right let's try this again oh you know what give me a sec i'm gonna just watch whatever this is we gotta we gotta see we gotta understand we gotta understand what this is real quick let me just... I, a proof I added you on Insta. Now I don't have the few info of who saw the post, but I'm 100% sure you saw this one. I've added another pair of shorts to my channel. Check out Ari the Ace, please. I don't know why I didn't get this notification, but okay. Let's watch this. This is... A, Strook made this. I haven't seen it before.
featuring Ari the Ace. It, it's all Ari the Ace. Did he just get the MP3 player infused into him? Check out the because comments. That's very funny. <laughs> you didn't spell comments right, by the way, Struck. Maybe you shouldn't just be throwing stuff off of f factory. Uh, the top floor of a factory. This wasn't even funny. That wasn't even funny here. That was funny. Remember that from the uh, developer direct. <laughs> okay, that was kind of funny. Okay, I don't, I don't get the point, but you know what? I'm, I'm not Why that pressed. Why she post your <laughs> I'm not that pressed. I'm just not that pressed. I s whatever, <laughs> whatever. It's up. It is. It is what it is. Hello guys, I'm it's already fine, the It's fine. If it ever makes money, you just. If it ever it. makes money, I'll copyright strike it. We're all good. <laughs> Smart. I hope you guys could hear that. I totally forgot to check, but I'm sure that based on yeah, I could hear it. Yeah, uh, based on how it should have been set up, I was pretty sure it'd be fine. I didn't know anything of what was going on, but I. Neither do I. Trust. I have. <laughs> I don't know what the point was. I mean, Chai just dying on the floor as I had my nonchalant reaction was pretty funny, but otherwise I don't know what- <laughs> I don't know where it came from. Your stream, obviously. I mean, okay. I hate men. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I tweeted recently, like I tweeted right before the stream because of- there was a tweet that was like, oh, teenagers never go out anymore. They never want to see each other. They're too busy on their phones. I was like, no, dude, like I may, I have tried to make so many plans. Our mall is disgusting. Maya has seen it. Maya came to um, like the mall that we go to um, once. So they know it sucks. So it's you're all the teenagers, Lauren. Right? You're all yeah, the Yeah, yeah, I am. <laughs> no, you. but yeah, this, yeah. Is, this is just the story of everything in America. It's always like, we just, we don't have walkable routes. Like I can't walk at all even in my own area like i barely you know we have terrible sidewalks you're in new jersey of course you can't walk yeah so imagine if you're in like <laughs> I, I don't know what that means imagine if you're in any state if you can't walk that sucks can't walk here. exactly it, it just it sucks i don't know and i live in a big city i can literally go wherever I yes because cities are made for I mean, <laughs> you're the worst <laughs> I hate Ellie. <laughs> Maybe I don't hate men, I just hate Ellie. People go wherever they want to here, even if it's, like, not safe. I mean, we go there, but, like, you know, it's... You're less, it, like, willing... I'm an idiot. You're less willing hey, to man, go. I got you. I'm willing to take all the blame for men. Hate Ellie, not the men. Hate Ellie. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag. Honestly, In I'm just gonna state? try to go middle this time. How are you doing so bad? I don't know. I'm just gonna try to go middle. I'm already doing so bad. It doesn't. It doesn't matter. I messed up once and I was like, forget it. In my state, it's like predominantly winter or cold, and because like we have um, snow from like I say it's like late October, early November to like March or April, and we don't have many um, like indoor malls, and those are like those are like dying out. We have all like the outdoor malls, which doesn't make sense because it's always horrible weather. Yeah, yeah, no, we we also have like like half the year we're in terrible weather, basically. I haven't spectated. My favorite is when people say, um, "Kids and teenagers aren't going out" when they're like literally my age, and I'm like, "Dude, like you have me added on here. Like I didn't go out when I was." <laughs> I always went out when I was a kid. Like I went out. But that's because we like... didn't have, we didn't have the money to buy an Xbox to play Call of Duty. <laughs> <laughs> no, because honestly, like playing Lego. Even even after after yeah. school every day last year, my or like I don't remember. I think it was last year. Every day after school, my friends and I would go, and we would walk to Duncan. But to go to Duncan. We had to cross like a main road where the cars are going like 40 and there's no crosswalks anywhere. So you just have to kind of jaywalk across. Play and, uh, who dies first. Yeah, exactly. It was just Frogger. It was really, it was so dangerous. I and we, we're just, we're just lucky that cars actually- If you get hit, you pay like, for everyone, huh? <laughs> See, I lived in the middle of the woods, so like there was nowhere to go anyways. Yeah. 
don't know. It just what sucks when they blame it on us, bro. Like, why blame it on us? It's literally just how our country is. I don't think up. they're blaming us. I, I think it's. Here. Now they're, well, they're blaming it on phones. They're blaming it on teenagers getting addicted to phones. But it's like, no, yeah, like that's, that's not it. It's not it. You're not a teenager, you dumb little little, little boy. No, we had this, we had this conversation true. yesterday, and you were saying the same thing. And I was like, it's not true. I know teenagers. I, I speak to them. No, you know the teenagers you speak to, but like you don't know the average teenager. Well, I do because I talk to a bunch okay, of teenagers. Okay, look at my Discord. There's like 4,000 teenagers in my Discord. They, they are tweens. A lot, they don't of them, go out. a lot of them are tweens. They first still of all. count as teenagers. First of all. They still count as teenagers. A no, lot of them no. don't go out because they're online. But also think about all the people who have disappeared from your server. From your look, server you're an extrovert, but like a majority of people you talk I'm to not an extrovert. are extroverted. I'm you not are. Extrovert. You're always going out. I honestly, I don't even see myself in the next group, but everyone sees me as one. I don't get it. People are scary. People are scary. Then you might be like, yeah, ambivert. There's no way you go out as often as you do and you call yourself <laughs> an introvert. There is no way. I mean, yeah, I go out as often as, it, as I do and I still complain about not going out enough. That's fair. But like, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I don't think phones are like that bad that people are saying. Like, I just think a group but... of friends is extroverts and you guys do that but like the majority of people no my group of friends are very introverted they they genuinely you know what are. else is changing attention span i don't creativity. think that's changing creativity yo kids used to be so creative and now you sound like such like, an old man on the lawn right no, now No, it's true dude it's actually true dude people people okay we, so we were having first of all yeah you have so many fan artists in your in your server you can't even talk crap about anyone creative you have so many creative people in your server second of all we were having this conversation yesterday which is why i'm boiled up about it because we already had this conversation yesterday so ellie and af were saying like basically like uh, kids are are not as creative like they're too busy scrolling through tiktok etc etc yeah and i was like no if you go through tiktok you will see so many people who do store who write entire stories who like create lore and stuff in their own TikTok communities. Yeah, but that's making the creators. Okay. That's then, not uh, creators uh, though. They're, not, at, they're only creators. Hear me out, hear they're me only out. creators after they create. They're normal kids before they create. Exactly, but hear me out. How many creators do you follow? How many views do they get? Not as much. No, I, I. Well, that's the opposite. Is, what, I mean, they get millions of views. No, and, and you no. Only watch but that's, like but that's a lie. Twenty or fifty creators. I watch. You are just. A, I'm gonna kill Tell you. Tell me. Okay. Tell me Dude, there's 18 I, million creators honestly, on YouTube. Honestly, Tell I, me. I get what you mean, but also I I follow so many TikTokers who are just like small independent like people who never had any okay, clout before many views TikTok. Do they get? Who cares? How no, does that no, matter? It's really important because you're you're saying oh because I watch these creators like you're you're making your experience like the average. But no, that's not but, it. but what I'm saying is that there are people who are creating things. You know, there's a world outside of what you see, Ari. But, but that's not okay, what I'm saying. Okay. What I'm saying is that I do see people who are creating things. Exactly, but it's not here's, as many as people who are watching those things. Think. But who cares? That I means think. that there are people creating things. Even when people just yeah, started creating things. what I'm saying is even, there used to be more. Even like, when, like, no, in, there did not, not used to be like, more. They did not okay, used to be more. Hear me out. Hear me out. The example that, that F said is like kids you used to play with a stick. <laughs> they, they used to go out and play with a stick. Yeah, but do you, do you think do you my think my dad every used to single, make his own toys? Do you think that every single kid did that, or do you think your dad is your experience? Do you think every single kid did that, or do you no, think some kids did I'm that and some kids used other kids' toys? They didn't have other toys. options. They didn't have other options. To and play. now they do, and now they create their own things exactly. in different. Exactly. Stick when different, I had other options. Now people create things in their own mediums. They can create it in TikTok. They can create it in art, which you, we have so many artists in, in our community. There's so much creativity in our community. Here, or they can do streaming and YouTubing, which we do. Sorry, Roth, you've been trying to talk for so long. Go. Here's my opinion. I don't 100% agree with Affinelli. I think they came to the wrong conclusion. I think that creativity isn't as encouraged anymore. Also, sorry, Aff, uh, you weren't even in this conversation, so I'm not even going to throw you out there. I'm just throwing Ellie under the bus here. This is, <laughs> we're just going to pretend this is all Ellie. Aff was in the conversation yesterday, but he's not here today, so I'm just going to pretend he wasn't part of it. So not to, like, <laughs> unnecessarily bring him in. But I, I think creativity isn't as encouraged anymore. That's the and problem. It always gets blamed on kids. It's not but that it's, it doesn't it's, exist. Yeah. It's that it isn't encouraged anymore. Because I'm not saying it doesn't creativity, exist, obviously it does. Well, I'm just saying it's not it, as common as it if, used to be. If anything, it, it's, it's less encouraged. common because it's, yeah. And by cause... creativity, I'm not just saying like art and stuff like that. I'm saying like the way you think, the way you like, just just the yeah, way you entertain yourself. It's, it's not, not just like creating a video. Anymore. Yeah, but we are like, 
it, it is also what Roth is saying, which is like, like I want to create stuff all the time, like a genuinely good, like high quality stuff. But I'm constantly like working on college. That's something. That's the reason I haven't seen yeah, in so long. Yeah, but college always been a thing. That's, that's, yeah, but college no, or even no. high school, it was a problem in high school too. Like it's, it's yeah, but high school has always existed. Yeah, but it's gotten worse. Like, there's constantly things it's changing. It's not gotten worse. It's there's... always been like this. I don't think that's true. Oh, yeah, it's like, even just, worse because I, I, I feel like it was worse before because uh, people didn't care as much about mental health and stuff like that. People were worse back in the day. Well, now Gen Zers care about mental health. That doesn't mean that the people actually in charge care about mental health. Yeah, but it's more like common to have like a psychologist in your school than it used to be back in the day. Like I someone, don't like a, think that's like a true. Social worker. Our counselor. Yeah, it's way more common. If, it's, it's we even actually it's we standard. have we have counselors. They suck. It doesn't mean that they're yeah, actually they suck, helping us. They're still there. But they're, they're not they're helping us. But they're not helping us. They don't do yeah, anything. If anything, if anything, it's, they well they should, but they aren't. That's the thing. We're not I'm getting sure funded they at enough. Help one or two we're, we're not getting funded they enough for nothing. them to help. Yeah. Okay, I do, maybe they honestly, did person for you, in high school, they literally do nothing. Honestly, they hurt my my like they they hurt my my education. Your experience sucks then, but it's probably not everyone's experience. No, but it is a lot of people's experiences. Like, I've had conversations with kids about this. Like, we hated the counselors in our school because they could have done so much more. And they we weren't. We have doing the it. same counselor in the school. No, but we have Which a Which, of course, a, they're going to suck. But we have a variety. You, you guys have the same. No, but we have a variety of counselors in one school, and everyone has different ones. That's what I'm saying. And this is also a conversation I've had in college where everyone comes from different high schools. Ellie, I think you're outdated, man. <laughs> I think I, you're, I I think you're getting you old. Right I think you're getting old. I think you're getting old. No, I think you're in denial. You just don't like being called less creative. But no, because we don't like also, it. Because your attention span sucks. We, your we, memory is worse because you guys yeah. use Google all the time. You don't remember. So. He sounds like such Ellie an old is, man. Also a tool in the real world. He's, dude, he is so old. He yeah, turns so old. It's a fact. It's a fact. Dude, Google is all is a tool in the real world, and it shouldn't be criticized criticized on using it. Because I'm not saying I'm not criticizing. I'm just saying it's a fact that you guys don't use your memory as much as we used to in the past. Well, yes, but we don't have to because we have that resource. Exactly, but is it? Am I saying is it? Am I saying it's wrong to do that? Am I saying it's wrong to use Google? I use it every day. It's besides the point. Your argument here. We out. Yeah, we're out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He's, you sound, dude, genuinely, you sound like such an old man right now. <laughs> like, <laughs> okay. Anyway. <laughs> I don't think I'll be able to uh, finish another one, so. You gotta go? Yeah. All right. I can well. open the. <laughs> you good? What's happening with my computer? I can't. Wait. There we go. Oh my gosh. I don't know. I think just blaming on the phone is just. Is just short sighted. Yeah. I disagree with you. Like, even if we, even if, like, all of those things are true, and, like, yes, we have lower memory or less attention, I think it's very much dependent on a lot of other factors than just the phone. I think the phone always See, gets the brunt of I, it. I disagree with you because I grew up without a phone, and then I have a phone. Uh, now. Real so quick. I, I have experienced both. Thank you for playing, Zen. Real quick, does anyone else want to play? Uh, Fanny, you're in here if you want to hop in. Or we can just get a rando. It's all good. Because the thing is, I mean, even like, I, like everyone has phones now, you know? Like, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I, I grew up without a phone. I grew up going outside all the time, remembering stuff. And now I have a phone. I, I literally experienced both. That's why yeah, I'm saying Yeah, but you I'm also saying. grew up in all the other things that society has progressed Maybe or degressed. you're getting old in your memory. Exactly. As good as it used to be. Dude, I'm 28. I'm not 55. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you're getting old and your memory's getting worse. <laughs> no, but also like you've grown up in the rest of the ways society has changed. Like if there's other factors contributing to those changes, then yeah, like you're going to notice that, but you're just going to blame on the phone because that's the one that's in front of you. I think, I think you guys, like, it's all you know, and I think you're defending what you know, and that's fine. That's understandable, but no, I'm I am just here's, saying, here's what I, what I, what I think is also Roth is around your worst. age. Right? A little bit. I think he's uh, 21, right? 22? 23? No, I, dude, I'm, I'll am i be 26 this year. Yeah! Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, again, I don't like one on purpose. I don't purposely try to take the middle of the road, but I, I don't think... 
Ellie is 100% correct, but I don't think he's 100% wrong either. Like, I don't think he's 100% wrong either. I think it still ties back to the creativity is encouraged enough because even growing up, like I was homeschooled for most of my career, so my parents were, although I was sheltered a lot, like they always encouraged go outside, build whatever you want with your Legos type of thing. But then like the last few years of public school, it's like, sure you have art classes, but it's like, my public school experience for the past three years of my uh, schooling was just like, well, art doesn't pay the bills. Science, math, engineering does. Not that you can't be creative with that, but like, I don't know. I think it still ties back to... What about now that you see people who want to become YouTubers? What, what's that one study where like every kid, like I think 50% of the kids want to become YouTubers? So 50% of the kids true. want to be creative. Exactly. But that, that's not the point. I'm not, you don't understand what we mean when we say creative. So what's your point? Creativity in the term of like, not like, use, how do I explain it? it it's all coming back to the phone. It's all circling back to phone. <laughs> but you're not Creativity, explaining like, it. Like without the phone, in a way. Yeah, but the phone is what we know. It's still creativity. I mean, yeah, sure. Maybe we're less creative in terms of what you are considering creative. But yeah, we have this new medium, so we're more creative in it, you know? Like, if you're saying, like, it's not... I don't know how to explain it, but that's not what I mean. Okay, okay. <laughs> I, I don't get it. It's, it's whatever. I was just hearing it yesterday, and I was like, this sounds very old. <laughs> That's because you grew up that way, so you think it's all good. But Roth is the same age as you and is not completely on your side. Yeah, but Roth just literally proved my point. <laughs> By saying he, he he was like told to go outside. Yeah, that, well, I'm tying back to, to my original point of that. It's not that kids are less creative. Like, they aren't inherently less creative. They just have less encouragement in being creative. Yeah. So they don't express their creativity, creativity as much. I don't know. I agree with I that. that and then that's yeah. definitely true. Like, that is definitely true to some extent. I, is yes. it? I definitely because think phones have not been good. Because nowadays YouTubers that. are pretty much glorified. Twitch streamers are glorified. Kids are super exposed to that stuff. Everyone can do it. I don't. I don't think that's a valid point. Because kids can literally be like, "Oh, I want to be that like this guy." I don't, I don't think that's true. It's, everything is more accessible as well. Like making art, you can get an app. When back in the day, you have to like get supplies. You have to get art supplies. Nowadays, you get an app on your phone and it's super easy. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't think that necessarily means that there's less creativity because you have easier access to a creative medium. Yeah, I'm confused. Like if you have the phones and you have more access, isn't that gonna boost creativity? Yeah, but you guys don't mean what we mean by creativity. So it's what do you mean right by word. creativity? Like, imagination? Yeah, that's the one. Imagination. I don't know. I think it's the same. That's the... It's not. It's definitely not. <laughs> like, people do have imagination. Like, yeah, I know. I get what you mean that YouTuber and Twitch streamer, it's not always like, very imaginative. But also, there... I mean, I would say there's a lot of... YouTube creators who have a lot of imagination make a lot of cool lore or yeah, but now video you're essays always, or whatever. Like you're going back to YouTube creators. YouTube creators are like a minimum. It's like a small niche of people. Not everyone is that. It's like you're saying like celebrities. How many celebrities are there? It's not like the regular people. No, but like, I, I don't know how to explain okay, yeah. my point. Here, my paintbrush. Like, obviously, exactly there's a bunch of what creative I was, people. What I was I'm not saying like there. you kids are not creative. I'm not saying that. Like, of course, like if you look at Fanny, she she pumps out art left and right. But like, phones are definitely hurting that, in my opinion, because people are spending more time watching content than making content. Before I say something, I'm trying to just formulate exactly what I'm I'm trying to explain. But okay, so so when I when I say YouTubers, I don't even mean the big people. I just mean like even if a small creator makes uh make makes like a, a lore or anything in their in their videos, that is imagination. Even if they don't get views, they're still making something imaginative. Okay, if, but hear me out. How many people 
start YouTube? How many people make YouTube content? How many people go, oh, I want to be a YouTuber, yeah, but and even, never make even, content? Even how many if, people don't even think about it? And how many people just watch? Yeah, but like, even, th if, even, even, even if there's a bigger ratio of people watching, they can still be doing other things. They might be doing TikToks or they might no, be doing I'm whatever saying, else. You're using, you're using YouTubers as, like, oh, as like an example, but it's a big minimum. Like YouTubers or people who make content is like a big minimum compared to people who don't. Yeah, but that's the same for like anything. Like I don't, I don't know what your point is because I that would. works for like any art medium. Like if you look at any piece of art, like for example, just normal like traditional art, there's a bigger percentage of people w looking at the art than making the art, right? Like if you're getting like what whatever, I, like let's say the standard is like 14k yeah, likes what we're on Twitter. About. Creativity was not the right word. It's imagination. Though. Imagination. That's what we're talking about. Yeah. But regardless of what medium you talk about. Yeah, but now imagination. You don't have to use it for creativity for like art and stuff. That's not like it's or making content. It's, it's not what we're trying to say. I don't know. Like I, imagination I, can be used for other things as well. Well, I think I don't know. I think people still like because like you know. I don't know how to explain it, but I actually like, you know, talk to people this age, right? Like, I actually am like actively around people this age, and I would say there's still a lot of imagination. There's still a lot of just like, even the people in your Discord, if they talk, they might be talking and they could be imagining like whatever. Like, I I don't know how to explain like, I don't know. I'm struggling to get also, the, the formula. Also, that's, my point that's always point. been a thing. Like, cre like creative work has always been looked down upon. Like I, I'm, I'm a graphic designer, and people just expect us to make stuff for free. It's always been that way. Like that's not new. But it's also true because those jobs are not gonna pay as much. Like no one is ever gonna pay. Oh as crap! Much I was reading for, chat. No. For that than for like I don't know a surgery. Or something. That's what I get for reading chat. You guys killed me. Tell Ari and Ellie that Alex has to let you speak. Alex, explain. I don't know what that means. <laughs> no, I, I had said their their point there. Oh, okay. A few messages back. Whoever said that they were going to say what, I, what I said, you're valid and I appreciate you. Gotcha. I, I don't know. I don't, I don't think imagination is necessarily like gone down like i don't think it's gone down to where it's like a super bad thing like i think people are still i don't know i just i don't really know people who really spend so much time on tiktok that they have completely lost like so much imagination you know like yes we like i i think tiktok is a horrible thing i think it's way too addictive and it's just it, it wastes so much time for a lot of people and i definitely agree with you on that front I, and i also just I, I i also think phones in general like I, I don't think they were necessarily all well, bad or all good. Left. That's the thing. <laughs> yeah, dude, I, I died so early on. I was too busy reading chat. Oh, good. See, but you guys, you guys in chat, you and Ari, you're like, oh, I only know this time, uh, many people. You guys have a small circle. There's 8 billion people. Yeah, but we're just, I mean, you we're just going based be, on it. You can't but you also, you also have a small circle. Billion people. You also have yeah, a small circle. Yeah, but I'm not general. I'm not saying, oh, I know these people who, who do this and that. But you, you guys are, keep you are saying, basing oh, it off your own experiences person. as well. well that's I'm what not. we're all doing. When did I do that? I mean, based on what you are saying, you are just assuming based on what you know and your own experiences, what the entire populace is like, what the entire, like, I, have I, I I have not did that. I have not done that. Well, like, you're, you're saying that, like, children's imaginations have gone down, but that's only based on, like, the children you know. It's not. It's not based on the children I know. It's based on what I see everywhere. Well, it, it, is that not the same thing? No, because I, you guys keep saying, oh, I know these type of, these people. It's based on what I see, not on what I know. It's a big difference. But what we see, like what I see is also, like that's what I'm also basing my opinions on. Explain. Because you keep saying, oh, my friends, oh, people at college. 
Well, that's just I'm that's just so to give you this. some like context or whatever. But like, I am just yeah, basing on like, like you keep using that as like because oh, it's the only way to make that, then everyone else does that. It's just the only way Same to for make Barbie. you. Barbie is like, oh, only it's one just, person. Yeah, but that's just giving TikTok. an example. You know, one person that watches. But TikTok, it's just giving an example. Fastest. Have I'm you ever given Barbie. an example before? God damn. TikTok is one of the fastest growing platforms, if not the fastest growing platform ever. How am I the only one alive, boys? Please. Whittle them well, down a little bit. To be Please. fair, I started as having COVID. Ah! I got caught. Okay. There's, there's, oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. What? I thought I got I'm caught. I'm not saying imagination is gone. You guys are like... Extre you know what? No, no, no. I, I, I get you're not saying... I, I get you're not saying that imagination's not gone. I'm, I just... I don't know. I think that's still alive. I think it's just different. That's all I'm saying. I think it's still like alive and well in comparison to your times. It's just different. Mom has something she would like to say. Hi, mom. You all just lost the game. I hate you. We, I mean, we lost it like yesterday. I haven't, I, I haven't had that long of a go. <laughs> yeah, I thought we almost lost that, but I like grabbed someone right. I think as you were about to get caught. I think we lost the game like yesterday or two days ago. Farming, that's just technology, like. Right? I don't think that has anything to do. If people in the past had better technology, I've, I don't think that has anything to do. At the end of the day, it's not that big a deal. Like, it, it's, it's, you know, whatever. It's just, it's society, man. But like... At least we can all agree that TikTok is terrible. Uh, yeah, TikTok sucks. I disagree. I actually disagree. What the fuck is <laughs> well, wrong with you? I think TikTok is great. I hate I Ellie so think much. TikTok no, I think, no, he's doing a bit now. He's doing a fucking no, 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 bit. No, 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 He's actually fucking think... No, he's messing with hear us. Me There's no, 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 no fucking way. Out, I think TikTok is great as a platform. I just think he's doing bad things to people. But I think as a platform, it's a great thing. Especially as a content creator, I think it's a great outlet. He is messing with us. This I whole thing has been a bit from the you cannot fucking hate TikTok. Go. You cannot hate TikTok. Like For, I don't. Maybe hate you TikTok, can't hate it because I, you don't I, like it. I kind of like because you, you, you can like, hate what it's doing. There's a time where people. I would just scroll on TikTok for like three hours a day. And just like exactly yeah, you can hate it for that because how, so how now much I, time I, is I don't open it and like. Why are you rushing so much? You don't have to rush so much. Have, Ellie, Ellie, you can you like can be slower, Ellie, please. Is it yeah. Is it shoot me? Oh, first. Up here, yeah. <laughs> okay, we're good then. No, yeah, you can hate TikTok for what it's doing to people and how much time it's taking for people, but I think as a platform, as, as like as a concept, as a concept, it's, it's cool for sure, yeah. Exactly. But it is it is just like doing a lot of damage. And even as a content creator, like it's great. Oh crap. All right, now we're done with some other people. Oh, uh, I was like three levels up and then I fell. I ran out straight and splashed. I'm trying to murder as many blue as I can. Oh, I think I just blocked myself. Oh, I'm good. Are you still left? Yeah, I'm good. I'm up here. Okay. I'm on yellow. I'm gonna try and cause this guy to die. Oh, this guy body blocked me. But I, I took out like a bunch of blue. I won. I think Let's we go. won. Let's go. Good job. We didn't even need a fourth. And Zen was holding I, back the whole time. I don't keep changing sides. <laughs> That's just because you guys are like antagonizing me but you don't get my point i, I swear i i'm genuinely not trying to i'm trying to actually like just you're calling me all the point stuff, but like it has i mean it, it is that's just, just a fact it, that's just us messing because you do sound like uh, get off my lawn but like I, I am genuinely trying to understand your point it's the same one we did yesterday with f pretty much yeah but that conversation ended quicker because i was not gonna get into that last night <laughs> i was way too tired dude i've always said I hate TikTok, but I think it's a great platform. I've always said that. I'm not changing side. I've said that for years. Squads is done. Uh, I guess we do duos now. And honestly, we had like massive talks with Ari back let's in do, the day. Let's do Hexagon. Yep. Hexagon. We were saying like, oh, we're going to start making TikToks and stuff. We, we've talked about like strategy and stuff like that with Ari before. Yeah. Even Ari made a new account because... <laughs> because apparently an old account is not as performant. Yeah, as, uh, it, it does bad. As a, yeah. Roth, are you still Wait, in the game? Like, yeah, I uh, 
got a bunch of stuff. I'm oh, gotcha. Through. Gotcha. All right, we're, we're gonna do hexathon. I'm gonna XP for that. Yeah. I leveled up like 18 times. Oh, yeah, dude, no yeah. I had <laughs> I leveled up like three times. Got a bunch of crown shards. Oh, I'm close to the next uh, skin. Dang, we just lost 2-0. Hydrate. Drink some water, boys. One thing that I agree 100% with you, with what you said, is that uh, there's a new type of creativity. 100%. That's 100%. And it, it will keep evolving. And there's like... 100%, that's true. Like, you can literally edit a video on your phone now. Which back in the day you had to pay thousands of dollars to get an editing software. Yeah. Which means like, there's a new type of creativity, but I just still think phones and stuff, they're kind of, first of all, they're affecting social interactions and also well, your brain a little bit. I, we were having this conversation about social interactions earlier, and I definitely think that phones are not the sole culprit of it. I think it's very much just how society has evolved in the past like I, couple years i agree that they are affecting social interactions but not necessarily in a negative way yeah not not necessarily in a negative way but if you say like physical interaction yes 100 percent. i yeah. would say negative because yeah but because, like i say uh, like i said i definitely think because like i was even reading around and i was like i learned like there was a thing called like the mosquito that was supposed to keep teens away from areas like they didn't want teenagers to go outside yeah, I remember and that. around areas I remember that. so like stuff like Wait. that that is definitely a big culprit of why people just don't go out anymore you know like i like i said but i i've I, from personal experience again but like i've definitely tried to make plans my friends try to make plans but we have nowhere to go like that's it i don't think soul like the sole culprit of the negative effects are phones you know i want to i want to say something i don't think it's necessarily Ooh. negative that was a very quick i one. actually don't think it's necessarily negative i i because honestly i don't have a side on this thing if anything i'm for less talking to people because i'm an introvert and i hate talking to people so i wouldn't say negative i think it's negative in terms of what society has taught us like oh you have to go outside you have to talk to people you have to make friends all that stuff i think that's why i'm using negative but in my own opinion i don't think it's negative i think see it's yeah that, that's the thing it. I mean, that, that's why me, i mean yeah go go for it it's somewhat positive because like I think I'm even more introverted than Ellie. Like, mm. I literally leave my house like once every two weeks. <laughs> like, I, like your your all the all my friends are online that I talk to. Like, I had friends growing yeah. up, but like, they all like trucks and farming. And I, I think people think it's a bad thing because they haven't experienced it, or they, I don't know. There's a stigma. There's always been a stigma with like online friends and stuff like that. Yeah. Oh, like dangerous yeah. and all that i yeah i've been using the word negative but i don't think it's the proper word it's, it's negative based on what society wants you to think i think yeah it's like but the it's opposite of societal expectations i would say it's changed there's a hundred percent sure been a change and it's probably like i don't know if that tweet had like studies attached to it or whatever but i'm sure like it's a fact that like being on your phone you go out less like i i feel like even like all that, text tweet, messages. all that tweet said... You know said, how text messages, like, people used to talk, and then when the phone was invented, people used to call each other? Or, like, when text started, like, being more popular, people stopped calling each other, and now they text each other? Yeah. Like, for sure, people are going to go out less, because now it's easier to, like, hop into Discord and call and, I don't know, talk to your friends. Well, but yeah, but also, like, so many people hate talking on the phone. Like, genuinely, so many people that I I've met, talking. and, like, so many yeah. people hate it. Like, I think... I get like, so much anxiety when I see my phone right now. Like, again, yeah, I, I'm like not I'll even... Vomit. I, I'm not even saying that the phone is not affecting it. I'm just saying it's not the sole culprit, and it shouldn't be the only thing we're, like, we're blaming for what, the change, you, you know? Again, like, it's the mosquito... It's probably not the sole, like, 100%. Like, it's probably like, not the whole... The only one. Things like the mosquito or any... any Thing that was built based on that mindset of keep teenagers out of public spaces all of that is built to change you know our like perception of going out you know like like the whole idea like 
you know, you know all the like. There's so many vi like constant videos of people just skateboarding outside, not even doing tricks or anything, just skateboarding and getting yelled at by people yeah. in the street. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. anything, yeah, 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 yeah. that whole idea of you know kids, uh, you know kids are menaces, but I feel teenagers like that's are menaces. Been a thing though, I feel like that's always been. A but thing, with I, the with I, the invention of the mosquito and stuff like that, that is helping but in I pushing remember, it. But I remember, dude, we. My, my teachers talked to me about the mosquito when I was like 12, so <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, man. I honestly have no idea what you guys are talking about. It, it's, like, it's like a device that makes a, a noise that is too acute for like older people because their ears are less good. But teenagers, since their ears are like better, they can hear it. So like it's an annoying sound and it forces them to like leave. But I feel, yeah, my teacher has been telling us about that for years, dude. When I, was I also, like, I, I just, I don't think, like, I, I think as time goes on, public spaces have just been kind of deteriorating, like. But also, I, I would blame COVID a little bit as well. Maybe. Like, definitely not just yeah, I think it, COVID as well. I, I don't think it's solely the fault, but I think it definitely, like, increased the deterioration. But also, yeah, but is it, people, is it a bad thing, though? Is it a bad thing? Because when like, you think about it. There's, I mean, there's I think... less anxiety. There's less social pressure of like dressing up to impress or looking good. There's less uh, bacteria spreading. Look at me, you stupid chicken. I mean, as always, it's a nuanced thing, right? Like, it's not a good or bad thing. It's just a thing that might be happening. Like, like, I like going out, right? Like, I don't want to yeah, just sit like in my it. room and just and play. But some people yeah. don't like going out. And like, for example, like you guys know, like I downloaded some dating apps recently because of like my friend or whatever, and like. All of them, like a lot of them, who are like, "Oh, we need to go out on a date. We need to go for a fancy dinner." I'm like, I don't want to do that. Like that, that sucks. I don't want to do that. I, w I would rather like, you know, paint or do something like more like introverted. Like I think everyone's different and everyone has different views on like every situation. So I think it's a nuanced thing of like if you're going out more or less. But it is a thing, and I think I just I just it's don't just think phones. Oh, that. oh that. That's my first win. I need a second one as well. Good job. First try. Ace. Pause, Ari, you're on dating apps. Yeah, one of my friends downloaded a couple. One of my friends downloaded like two, and we we're making fun of him because his entire, like, it just, it looks terrible. Like, his whole profile just looked like, it was like all about like Overwatch and Valorant and stuff, and we were like, who do you think you're gonna attract with this? Um, Gamer girls. <laughs> yeah, but gamers who play Overwatch and Valorant. <laughs> so, um, I thought you said, we're gonna say, they were holding like a fish they caught. Oh my something. god, that's even that would have been that would have I would not be friends with that person. But <laughs> but um yeah, so then I decided to download one and I was just like quote unquote, I'm gonna steal your girls. And then um and I have actually found some of the girls that he matched with. Uh I think I swept away because I didn't I did not want to make it weird. But um, <laughs> that's respectful actually. But yeah, it's uh so yeah, I've been on some. I've kind of learned because I don't know, I avoided them for a while because I didn't really care. And then, but now learning the, like, I don't know, l learning the, the the consensus behind it and like the weird little things that go on there, it's it's so weird. I hate it. <laughs> it's it's so it's just I hate dating apps. Tinder is the worst. Tinder is the worst because it barely allows you to put a bio or anything about yourself. It is just meant for hookups. It's solely based on on, on looks, looks, yeah. It, yeah. It, it it has nothing to do with your personality. But like Bumble or Hinge, like they get more. And OK Cupid, they're all made like more to talk about you as a person you know hmm. i've never used any of those Back oh you the, know uh... what else might be hurting gaming <laughs> dude i saw that fortnite fortnite like a game for 2015 was the second most downloaded game uh last month or something like that it's crazy hurting like, what just it, hurting it was, the going outside just thing? hurting people going outside yeah it's, it's so accessible gaming nowadays yeah like, i'm glad dude, it's Fortnite so much more accessible <laughs> and it's so it's designed to be addictive dude i've been thinking like, about this i've been thinking about this like what are the games that have been the most revolutionary to the gaming world fortnite's one of them because it made more games free yeah. and now people play more and just epic games in general they gave away I so many think, free uh, games which i mean microsoft were, already did and playstation did. pioneer of cross-platform Oh, yeah. um, Yo, I think, yeah, it, when Nintendo didn't want games to do cross platforms, yeah, Minecraft and Fortnite were the first two. Because like, really nin Nintendo, but also Sony didn't want to do cross platform with yeah. Xbox, which was so yeah. annoying. Have you dyed your hair purple yet? I'm still, I want to. I, it's still red, so I'm just li letting it stay red. But dating apps See, are mostly yeah, based on hookups nonetheless. Not true, honestly. There's a lot that are like 
based on like like i said hinge bumble okay cupid they're based, based on your bio and on who you are you know see i i, I know that some people go outside and still play i i work and i game like all night so like you see it, it's almost the same but like you can't really base your experience on that like it, of course no one is gonna play all i mean there's people that play all day but yeah like, we're not do play on this. saying like oh you never go outside because you play fortnite we're just i'm just saying like i i literally saw a tweet about fortnite being like the second most downloaded game and it's a game from 2015. i mean i don't go outside because i play fortnite i don't go outside and i play fortnite yeah, I don't go outside because I don't like it. <laughs> exactly, yeah. yeah and right. it's not because, yeah. Cool. Correlation, not causation. Crap. Ugh. Also, old people. That's like, um, that, the public spaces thing is just like old people. Like, a, there's a meme that goes around and it's like, old people are like, why don't kids play outside anymore? And it's like, Henry, call the cops. The kids are playing outside again. Yeah, that is for what happens or whatever. <laughs> I can't relate to the, to the public spaces one because I live in Montreal oops, and it's like oops. a pretty well-kept oh. city. I live in the middle of a cornfield, so I mean... It's, I don't know. I think we just have a lot of different experiences. I think what we can agree on is that things just have been changing and that's just a thing. And like, I don't think any of it's necessarily all yeah. good or all bad. I think yeah, some I think, of it, I think you guys, you know, like tried to make me be the bad guy, but I, 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 I genuinely am not trying to do that. But it is that you were using a lot of negative words that made it seem I, like your position was that it's all bad. That's just, I, that's yeah, how it came I, off. I think I used negative because I was basing on what society thinks, but it's definitely not my have a good one, like that like i don't know how to explain it like no i get what you mean it, society on, yeah, society makes I don't seem it. like the worst thing right and that's like i get that's not what your point is but like i don't know i think it's just all nuance I, i'm the first person to use my phone instead of like yo i used to remember phone calls like phone numbers of my friends every phone number that my friend had dude, i never did that i used to remember it dude i would like we would go home i had a little book but i never used it I, we didn't have cell phones back in the day, so we had to right. use the phone line, the line, the home line. Yeah. And like you Shout would call out to your all people. my homies who have landlines still. <laughs> you would remember the, the phone, the phone number. Like, it, what is it? Like 12, 10 numbers. You would yeah. remember ten numbers, like for every one of your of your friends. And nowadays, I can't, I can't do it. I just yeah. use my phone. I, I, I like only have my mom and my I have my mom, dad, and home number memorized. I don't even yeah. have my sisters memorized. Yeah, I don't no, even know I my the wrong way. I know my I'm brother though. Well, you live with your brother, right? Yeah, is, but is your sister with the wait, is your sister with the car salesman still? Yeah. 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 So, <laughs> I, I'm not surprised you don't run. Like I, re I already have my mom's cell phone number memorized. Yeah, Ellie, do you have your mom's see, cell phone number like, memorized? I, I, oh, wait. <laughs> yeah, it's the one my my dad is using. Cause then uh, my when my mom passed away, my dad switched phones. Oh. He, he just grabbed first. <laughs> he just took her phone. Yeah, cause it was better. Yeah, I got you. For the line over. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, I guess it's a window situation. <laughs> <laughs> Lost a wife, got a new phone. <laughs> but yeah, pretty much in most phone numbers that I need to know, but I already had a cell phone, like I don't remember them. Like my mom's cell phone and home phone number, um, I knew because like we had to know them. Although I don't yeah. remember my parents' current home phone number because they had to change it because they were getting harassed. But you know. Oh, I'm not gonna make it. Tried as like, much as I could. Yeah. Crap! Oh, oh my god, I'm so good. Yo, let's go. Yeah, also, like, my dad remembers, like, phone numbers from, like, it's you and that guy. Ago. Yep. Yeah, that's crazy. That guy's good, though. I tried to cut you, him you off. You go to the right. Oh, yeah, cutting him off. Oh, you won. You just won. I don't, I don't think Wait, I did. No, no. No, no. Now you did. No, oh, I, what? Oh, let's go. Let's go. Oh, my god. Second oh, win in a row. Or third win in a row. That's crazy. <laughs> That was that was difficult. That one yeah, was rough. Varmint Varmint saying I, I changed sides is what made me realize like I wasn't probably not using the right words. Yeah, I think I, it just wasn't coming off how you wanted it to come off. I get that. I honestly I'd rather 
it be this way. <laughs> like, honestly, 100%. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think I prefer life the way it is now than, it, it used, than what it used to be. Like, I do miss going outside sometimes with friends, but I think I prefer what it is now, like, by far. I still... Yeah, I mean, like, like I said, all the friends that I used to be close friends with, like, pretty much, like, this sounds kind of mean, but, like, I was only friends with them because, like, they were the only people that would, like, be friends with me, even though I didn't really share very many or any common interest with them, and then it's, like, grew apart because they, like, farming and trucks and other stuff that I <laughs> don't really care about that much. Yeah. So, like, being online, this is kind of like, cool, I can hang out with people that I actually share interests with, and, yeah. So that's been cool. Um, I mean, yeah, Barmy, of course it's better right now. There's, like, better technologies, better healthcare, better everything. <laughs> everything is more easy to access. Like I said earlier, you can edit a video on your phone in a matter of seconds. You can well, draw uh, whatever. Real quick, like, real quick. For yeah. for when you get duos done, so Rod, if you want to hop out, you can still stay in the call and we can continue the conversation. Yeah, yeah, I'm done. All right, bet. If you want, I can hop out. I mean, it's up to you guys. I don't mind either no, way. It's up to you. Do you think Roth is better than me? Is that what you're saying? No, Do I don't. Do you That's think what, I'm no, better I, than Roth? I, I think you're better I mean, than Roth. That's why I asked Roth to dip. <laughs> I actually closed my entire game. Okay. Oh well. <laughs> How'd you close your entire game and still are in the party? <laughs> what the heck? I didn't make the game. Oh, there we go. Okay. Um, Wait, Val, I yeah. have my old phone number from where I was like eight. Remember, like it's memorized. I when TikTok came out, everyone was addicted to it, but now more and more people are able to control their screen time on it. That's true. Yeah. Again, like that's that's the end point. Like I think the argument started because it seems like, like I thought Ellie was very much not for it, and now we realize it's just it's just all nuance. That's just the whole thing. Every conversation, what the any depends. any. Any like no, don't start this again. <laughs> basically, no, 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 any saying, argument depends. you can have, basically any argument you can have can be solved with the end this decision that everything is nuanced, nothing is all bad or all good for the most part. I mean, even that I'm adding nuance into it, but for the most part, nothing's all bad or all good. Nazis are all bad, like you know. I mean, I didn't want to be the one to say it. But yeah, that, yeah so I was like, well. Yeah, that's why I had to add some nuance into that too, but like. <laughs> Yeah, racism will never be good either. There's no nuance there. And bigotry in general, yeah. But like, but like, yeah, like phones are just nuanced. Like I definitely, I agree. They are definitely bad I love in my some phone. ways. I'm not against phones. 100% I'm not yeah. against phones. I love my phone. It's like part of my daily life. I wake up, I am on my phone. Yeah, that's the worst <laughs> for me. I do that. I sit there for like two hours on TikTok. It's really bad. No, but like, I, I definitely, like, I just, I don't know. I think it's, they're, they are bad. Like, I definitely, I hate them sometimes, but like, they, they add a lot of creativity and imagination. And there's one thing though, like, for sure. Like, yes, your parents could play with a stick, like, your grandparents could play with a stick, but what if you gave them Fortnite? Yeah. They would probably drop the stick. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's just progression. Like, we're just moving forward. Like, we don't need to yeah. play with a stick anymore. But I'm sure that if people were given a stick and didn't know about their phones or weren't given their phones, they would be fine. I feel like a lot of uh, extroverts, if you ask them if they'd rather live, like, I don't know, in the 80s, they would probably go for it because the 80s seemed like fun and stuff. Yeah, do drugs, there bro. Was, like, no technology and all that. But uh, I don't know. That's the question I'm curious about. I got banned from playing with sticks after I almost Oh, oh, I was sent backwards. You almost blinded someone? Yeah, my Mike, she... I'm actually oh god. Really curious. Like oh, not Okay, probably not actually blinded, but like you had to have multiple like eye surgeries. <laughs> so okay, so that's <laughs> still I pretty bad. I accidentally like hit him in the face. And, yeah. Ads. Yeah, Yo, like, if you're gonna complain about the yeah, ads, there's a simple way of fixing it. It's called Twitch Pro Prime. Sub with Twitch Prime today. It's basically free money. I can on April 8th. I'm actually really curious. If like introverts versus extroverts, and if you ask them, would you rather live like 20 years ago or would you rather live now? Now, because I, I, I 100% now. Yeah. I mean, even me now, but that's just because I don't, I don't want. I'm a brown man. <laughs> Any further mm. back we go, it gets worse and worse <laughs> for me. Yeah, you're right. I mean, though, that would, yeah, mine's yeah. like, uh, hey, I don't 
really like going out that much to hang out with people generally. And like, okay, so like, like usually every two weeks, I go over to my parents and do laundry because we don't have a washer dryer hookup in our apartment. Mm-hmm. And then we would just like play games with my siblings. And like, if it's going out to like play a game that I enjoy with somebody, for sure I'm down or like watch a movie. But sometimes people are like, yeah, let's go hang out and walk around. And I'm like, that sounds absolutely atrocious. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, and it's Bro. not it's like, because I don't walk well. It's like my my sister always wanted me to go to her place, but what will I do there? I don't want to go to your place. I don't want to leave my bubble. What will I do? Sit in your sofa? <laughs> yeah, no. Sit for, in your even, couch dude, and, and what? Even, watch TV with you? <laughs> even when like I, I told you, Scrub and a friend came over recently, right? Even when they came over, I had to text Scrub like. What, what do you want to do at my place? Like, they had randomly just been like, yo, dude, can we just come over? And I was like, yeah. And I was like, what do you want to do? Like, I'm scared. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't I don't want you just sitting here. But, like, it was fine. Yeah, we just but, gotta like, talk? Yeah, we should go talk. Let's just Discord. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's weird, man. <laughs> That's why I just game with you guys. <laughs> yeah, you... Don't really have other choice. We can't really meet. I mean, we every could. Every time we plan we to could. meet, you don't show up. Yeah, every time we plan to meet, you don't every show up, time. man. And by every time, you mean one time. <laughs> one time. <laughs> Which is every time that we have planned to meet. Yeah. That would have been sick, though. Yeah. It would have been sick if you showed up, man. I was just waiting in Quebec. I was like at the border of the city, and you never came to pick me up. The people I used to hang out with a lot. It's just like, hey, you want to go like whenever. Our the local county fair is which like if you like the fair and stuff it's like pretty great because like it's one of the bigger ones and one of the nicer ones generally uh even though it's like in the middle of the cornfield um but they're like yeah let's just go walk around at the fair and look at all the things and all that and i'm just like i used to be like yeah sure but now, then it's like i'm not paying 12 dollars plus 30 minutes to drive there just to walk around to get dusty and dirty and be tired and pay for good food but like extremely overpriced and i'm just like that's just not it's just not me yeah i'll just stay home and play video games with my online friends and yo i covered my mouth trying to catfish me like my parents warned me <laughs> i covered my mouth when i read what shooky said and then i realized she, she, she's kind of latino so <laughs> yeah i was i I, get, I made a face i was like how am i supposed to take that but i was like whatever it's fine dude i'm latino and i was like oh my gosh that's racist and then I was, okay <laughs> She's also <laughs> Yeah. Oh my god. It's like a couple of days ago, Fatty made a joke about Asians, and I was like, yo, that's racist. And then I realized she's Asian. <laughs> yeah. For real. I guess technically. Oh yeah. my gosh. I always like. <laughs> I always gotta be careful on stream, man. I get scared. Like, yeah. India and some of the yeah, other yeah. countries. I mean, a lot of people well, don't, I, yeah. I think it's just because TV and stuff like that. People are so yeah. bad. At, yeah, I don't, I don't even know how to take India. Like, I think a lot of Indians Indians agree we are Asian. And like, we j I mean, obviously we are, but like in the societal aspect of it. But like, yeah. a lot yeah. of I saw something like, about I this. Can't there's, believe I that there's Indian and it's like, but that's like a Venn think, diagram. Like, <laughs> I don't know if it has anything to do, but it's, Fede, India it's not is that, so massive. It's not that if you're so part of. People. Yeah, yeah, I, I did. Like that's it. probably it too. Yeah, that's the and thing. We have like, like a billion people. And like it's stereotypes. And the culture is so like what? different. Yeah, we honestly we should be just put in our own. Because uh, honestly, like all of, like I Pakistan and uh, India and like Sri Lanka and like Indonesia, all those I put them together in my mind. It's like Asia, but it's not Asia. Like the Asia that the media is trying to like you know like yeah, you know what it's like when people media. talk about asia you're they're gonna be like 90 percent of the time probably more than that it's gonna be like china japan yeah korea yeah yeah i feel like that's it yeah yeah i don't know why yeah, india isn't it's... just his own thing because like but like russia is like yeah russia is also well, asia. which is just like <laughs> technically free wait, is asian wait russia i thought russia was europe it is, but it's also not. It's also Asia. Like, it's, oh. it's both. It's so big. It's but both. it's also, but also Russia has like kind of a like. I don't know. It's parts like of Russia, European, are European 
but like, I gained the ability to make LGBT jokes, but lost my ability to make woman jokes in the process. Yeah, I love so, that. It's just a weird one because of, yeah, it's like technically <laughs> on the continent of Asia, most of it or all of it, but like it's European and like European. <laughs> Dude, I gotta pee. Go <laughs> After this game. Asian when you come out, what are you in between? European. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! I almost but, yeah. But also there's just like, like, uh, what is it? Like, towards the side of Russia, so the east side of Russia, that's like towards Japan and all that, and China like actual native people to that area like align more with what people think of as like air quotes asian yeah but then you also have like the western part which is bordering europe so that one's like more european i'm not it's really weird like not weird as like that yeah. Yeah, and what what Fede say in terms of land it's Asian, in terms of population it's mostly like For Russia. Ah I I'm an idiot! Ah <laughs> I tried to kill okay. someone and I died, my bad. You got it, you get the first place and we'll win. Like the yellow guy I want huh? I want that yellow guy out. I don't know man. Minority math is difficult. <laughs> it's like it like just yeah. I, I don't even know what I classify as. Like I we dude we didn't even know what part of Asia we were from. Like we because of the dating apps. Some I asked like wait am I South Asian or Southeast Asian? <laughs> and so and someone said Southeast Asian, which is wrong. I think we're South. I'm pretty sure the consensus was that we're South Asian. Like we didn't even know. I mean I'm bad at geography anyway, so yeah, expected. Southeast, yeah, I'm not sure. I think it's South. I'm pretty sure we decided South. South. Right, but I also don't know how technical, like, on a technical geographical basis, how far oh, west. Oh, Asia I'm getting extends. bullied. Is there four people? Okay, there is one. Yeah, yeah. Good I job. think I'm just saying southeast because we heard I heard southeast earlier for the border. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why it sounds right to me. No, I think it's. I'm pretty sure it's south. I'm pretty sure my mm. friend said southeast. So then I put it's, southeast I think it's and south then. Because I would say like Vietnam and Cambodia South Asia. is like southeast. Yeah, it is South Asia. Okay. I don't know. I think. I honestly think Indian should just be a separate thing at this point. Like, just make it easier. Just like break the tectonic plates and become your own continent. Exactly, bro. I mean, why don't we, dude? Plates are so easy to break. Like, I don't know why we haven't just, like, you know? Yeah. Just gone on our own islands, chilled. I think we'd be What much about happier. AI? No, no, that's not good. <laughs> dude, oh my god. <laughs> AI art pisses me off. AI art, no, no way. No, I used to be, like, There's somewhat stuff. for it, but then I learned more about it, and nah, no way. Yeah, it's I remember. Taken, I, yeah. It's all taken from the internet. It's all like, taken it's from taken other people without not credit. Specifically in regards to art. But some AI stuff is kind of oh yeah, I'm dude. Saying, the, the, you like, know what the problem is? Other stuff is? This is like this goes back to the whole thing of creativity not being like as important to society because if we use AI how it should be used, AI and and, and computer science all that is just based on math. If we made AI do like math based stuff, it would be amazing. It would be like exceptional at that stuff. You know, like if we replaced accountants with AI, <laughs> like you know, we would get so much more work done. But instead, we're we're trying to replace artists with AI, and that's just not what it's made for. Like, why do that, and why take the human aspect out of art? You know? Yeah, no, 100%. Uh, I love Corridor, but they messed up. I don't know if you heard what they did. Corridor Digital. I saw that. Yeah, they basically train an AI to use a start a uh, uh, anime style, like they yeah. like an anime that already exists. Yeah. To make a new like short movie thingy that they do. And people got so mad because it was like stealing the art style. The AI was basically copying the, the style that someone worked on and, and stuff like that, which I 100% agree with. Uh, yeah. But as you said, like I'm, I'm no longer yeah, for it's, it's, AI it's not, generated it's, art. I saw the video and I'm like, this is super cool. But then it's like, it's also kind of like not right. 
I definitely think yeah. if you're if you're doing it for the intention of just like messing out with AI, I get it. You know, like it's a yeah. new thing, like you want to mess with I it. I think that's mostly what their intention was. Yeah, see, like, like I get that. Yes, they're they're making money off of the video, probably. That's another thing, right? Yeah. But that's uh, I don't know. They also are just. I'm gonna like jump off our U one. Nice. Like GG. Let's go. Pushing We're so good at this game. Of technology when it comes to graphic design and video games and like editing and just like video production stuff see i i um i think to use it as like an inspiration because sometimes you imagine something you type you, you can only imagine it as word and it's really hard to visualize and if you tap it into ai and you see it it kind of helps and then you can make your like you can use it as a reference cool but if you use it as like a final piece i i am not for it because that, that final piece will be made out of things that are stolen uh yeah roth if you want to get back in here we're just gonna do solos now so yeah, yeah. Right. um yeah that's the reason i don't i i never played um high on life and then it got a bunch of other con controversies so it's like i'm not gonna play it but high on life was confirmed to use ar and i was like i don't I can play other games, you know, I have such a big backlog, there's no point in playing this one game if it's just already got contra controversy. Yo, I yeah. gotta piss, y'all can talk real quick, I'm just gonna go piss real quick. Go for it. There's another thing about AI, and not AI art. Like, AI, I am for mostly when it's to enhance uh, creative work. Like like I said, like using AI art like, for reference, an that's like an enhancement. I think. Yeah, exactly, yeah, yeah. Kind so like Photoshop, and... Photoshop has this feature where like, AI will recognize an object. So you click on the object, it, it selects it, and then you can just, yeah, it rotoscopes yeah. it. And, and like, you can take it out, delete it, and then you can fill out the image with like AI based. Well, like, uh, I know, okay, on my iPhone, I noticed stuff. Like if you like hold down on a picture, like if I have a picture of like my dog and hold down on it, it'll like cut my dog out of the picture and I can like drag it around and do stuff. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes. Yeah, also, like, if you I don't know how go I'm to... Actually what is it? But... If, if you use Google Images, uh, not Google Images, but the Google, like, photos on your phone uh, that comes with, like, Android sometimes, you can type, like, I don't know, dog, and it will analyze your pictures, and it'll find every picture with a dog in it, which I think is super cool. And that's, like, a good use for AI because it, it helps make our lives easy, you know? <laughs> In my opinion, uh, Fede, I don't really agree with that s statement. Like, AR art is not art because it's just math. Because then, like, when you make a JPEG, it's basically it's just binary code. So it's not a picture. I don't know. I, I don't think that's a valid point. I, I don't think AR... I think AI art is art. It's just not art that it should be legal. Because it's, like, stealing. <laughs> but it's still art. In my opinion. Yeah, it, it's weird because it's like, okay, it would be cool if AI could, like, generate something that could be considered art. Like, the concept of that, like, that, that technology exists is cool, but, like, it's not being used for really good things, basically. Um, yeah, unless Fed it means, like, like, there's no human behind it. Like, like, it's a computer that made it, so it doesn't count? I don't know. I don't know. I still think someone generated like the the prompt. Yeah, like yeah, because most of the time you, for the AI generation things, you have to like type in what you want or what you don't want in it. Yeah, and then it'll try to make something based off of other things on the internet that exist already that have been like given those tags, basically. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Fede, okay. I see your point. Yeah. 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 It's it's what I'm saying now. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I guess That's I guess good. that I agree a little bit more with you on the fact that I mean it depends on how you define art. Like if a monkey draws a picture, is it art? I would say so, even though the the monkey probably doesn't think the way we do. Yeah, I don't know. It's an okay. One cool thing about AI is so the Minecraft build team that I worked on, I made a solo survival world. Well, well not solo. I don't. We're playing solos. Um. I made a like survival spot, so there's just I, I don't want to talk about it too much. Just it should be releasing soon, but just be safe in the NDA and stuff. But I I can say that I made a, a spawn that has like stuff in it, and so just like kind of as like a starting base for a player. And 
my boss was like, now this is the fun part, coming up with a description to get it to sell on the marketplace. And I was like, oh boy, like I'm not good at this. And he's like, yeah. let's just use chat GDP GPT. or whatever it's called. GPT. Yeah, chat GPT. GPT. And so he just typed in, he was like, write a description that fits in 150 characters. This is the yeah. title of it. And it like wrote something out and I'm like, all right, that's it. We're using that. Like, <laughs> Yeah, was like, come enjoy something... this beautiful world of yada yada yada, and be immersed. And I was just like, this is better than anything I could have written. <laughs> 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 so that was kind of cool, but yeah. Yeah, and that's I think dangerous because I think we might be trapped people... in lobby hell. Yeah, yeah, I think we are. I, I've seen wow. people use uh, college are trying to find figure out ways to like recognize patterns in like AI generated text because mm. people are like writing essays using. Chat GPT instead of writing them themselves. Yeah. The no, only one, a... the only AI, AI I'm okay with is the one that you type in a thing and it's, it tells you how to write out a code of the thing that you did. Like, it'll, you can ask a question like, how do I do this in Java? And it'll write it out for you. That's the one I'm, see, because that's another thing where that's that is cool. literally what AI is, bu is built for. It is code. It, yeah. it knows how to I code. I think AI is, is supposed to like nope. make our lives the easier. The one where yeah where you can like ask questions to it and be like hey can you give me a list of like the top 10 movies that came out or whatever and it's like here's your list of movies and you're like okay can you do the top 10 movies not in like the horror genre because you don't like horror movies and it'll do that and just like you can like keep asking it questions and refining it and like I don't know. That I think is is pretty cool. Like basically a smarter Google. Type yeah. Of thing. Yeah. Would you consider Google Assistant an AI? I mean, it I is. So. It's a simple yeah. AI. I did research on this. Yeah. There's because right now what we're trying to cr create like Chat GPT and stuff that's complex AI. It can learn new things, but simple AI like Google is a thing, and it's been a thing for a while. And it's just something that we've taught it one specific thing to do, and it does that one specific thing hopefully really well. And that's like all it is. So yeah, it is an AI. Okay. Yeah. What was I gonna say? Um. Oh yeah. So Bing recently came out with like AI assistant search, and people have been doing tests, and sometimes it gives false results. Like it, cause it's an AI, so it basically learns, like it deep learns yeah. on its own. See? And it sometimes gives false information, which is dangerous. Yeah, it is very dangerous, Bing, as we know. Bing is a trusted site. Yeah. I mean, well, even with Google, okay, so like when it was, I don't know how long ago at this point, like the average height of people came up in one of LA streams. <laughs> and I was like, someone said it was like 5'6", like average male height was 5'6", in the US, I'm like, that's that's like 100% wrong. Like I know for a fact that it did not decrease that much since the last time. Yeah, that was 5'8". But that's what comes up when you Google it. It's uh, like between 5'9 and 5'10, I think, in the U.S. Or... I'm average, let's go! I think, I'm pretty I sure I'm between 5'9 and 5'10. I think because I got the same result. And I think the... 5'6 five, five, or whatever is average world. It's for the world. Think. Yeah, it was for the world. Yeah. But I think... I don't know how the... But when, I had when a class I on a... average male U.S. height, and it was like, here's the average world height, 5'6, and that's what the person had looked up. So it's like... It was not the correct answer to their question, but like it also yeah. didn't answer. The but I don't the think that's place. I don't think that's Google's fault because Google, like the search engine, I don't think it's AI powered at all. It's it's SEO powered, which is like search engine optimization. So whatever website has like the best backend most traction for like yeah keywords. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Okay. It's based yeah, on yeah. keywords and stuff like that. So maybe that website that, with the five six could be had. Good. Yeah, I think which that's is what which is there. still a simple AI, like I think. Um, like I think the the it's search an option... algorithm more than an AI. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I guess yeah yeah, that's fair. <laughs> but yeah, I had a super butchered class, dude. Like my my, oh uh, yeah, not in my stream, so my coworkers are not watching. Because sometimes they watch my stream, but uh, <laughs> my work paid for a class about seo and like uh, how to optimize websites and stuff because like my work my work is super behind 
when it comes to like web and like technology and that stuff because we're like more antiquated when it comes to graphic design we do like more print and stuff yeah and they want to go into web design and stuff like that and we had a class and that's the only thing i learned that the seo thing a little bit i, I it wasn't even good like it was the worst class I've ever <laughs> yo farts are too got the you got number one that's crazy that was fast yeah i got second i'm good at this game i swear do you think about autonomous vehicles um i think it's, they're great there's this one like the one dilemma that i think everyone's done like the one Last question one like in, what's the one question already like if if there's four old people or like a baby <laughs> yeah, who, yeah yeah who, do who you would kill? you run Something over like that? oh yeah, yeah, I, mean, yeah I think the, the ideal classic. situation is break but ethics question <laughs> i mean <laughs> uh, <laughs> no you gotta kill someone you gotta, you gotta kill, kill someone the age, old, <laughs> the age old ethics question with the, the yeah. train track and the you train track, to yeah. which rail to send it on yeah, yeah just hit the brake button no i, I like yeah, honestly i, I like this just is where like this is where i am being a boomer <laughs> run over the baby yeah me too honestly <laughs> <laughs> jesus guys that's dark late stage abortion um i this is where we get into like where i am being the old person because so i have a 2012 car like i have this really shitty like used car um mm -hmm. and i i love yeah. it i you know it's my first my car, car so 2004 okay well yeah oh Plus. yeah dude no one of my friends has like a 2002 like it's but like you know okay it's... before this car i drove a car that was 99. oh my god <laughs> i was like this car is almost as old as me that's, <laughs> that's well, just let's go. way too old no but yeah like i i obviously it's my first car so i still love it but um but then i rode in a friend's tesla and I was judging so hard. I, I I was like, this thing is disgusting. <laughs> like I was like, there's uh -huh. too much stuff. It's distracting. Like I I don't think cars need all this. Like this is where I am being old because I'm sure some of it helps. Yeah, Especially like of... if you're disabled or anything, I'm sure it would be beneficial to have some of this stuff. But you know, <laughs> it's one of those situations where like, you know, when phones have like. 45 cameras you only use one yeah it's like it's it, it, a lot it's like it's there it's cool to have as a gimmick but are you really going to use it i don't know you can't really complain because you have it yeah oh come on let me get come on go forward thank you okay these bounce pads are just like not letting me bounce very high but, the bouncing, but uh, bouncing. Fede, what's your opinion about cars uh, uh, autonomous, autonomous cars. cars what's your opinion i'm curious because you i'm all for them like, I feel like as long as there's someone behind the wheel, like Tesla, what, what Tesla is doing, like when they're not like fully self-drivable, I'm comfortable with it. If it was just AI Why driving me around, I would no not feel safe. Off of these. I don't think I'm going to make it, boys. I'm not either. Yeah, I'm I didn't make it. Last. Okay, let's back out then. Ellie, did you make it? Yeah, but let's back out. Yeah, you already got your challenge. <laughs> yeah, I'm done. If it's like on self-driving cars, if it's like super well proven that they like there's bound to have faults but if it can be like okay these cars have a less chance of having an accident than if there's a human behind it then i'm like okay that's cool i hate driving yeah. like <laughs> yeah 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 100 yeah. yeah, like if i'm driving and i know ai will break for me if i like i don't know i'm distracted by something i'm 100 percent for it like it would save my life you know but if if the car was driving itself, I don't think I would trust it. No, exactly what Val even, was saying. That's what I would prefer. Proven. I would prefer, like I I honestly I've I've always hated cars. I, I never like driving. I don't like cars. I like I would much prefer Same. more public transport, and I'd much prefer more walkable streets. Like I, I think I'd hate public transport because then you're just with other people. It is. Yeah, dude, that's the thing. It is. Dude, it's yeah. it's disgusting sometimes. But like, if we could do something about people, yeah, sure. If we could do something, if we could do something like, about know. people being disgusting, you get like a free yeah. like, what if we get you... like another plague going or something like COVID. <laughs> Jesus! Oh my COVID god! 20. <laughs> no, but joke. like, <laughs> this is a joke. No, but of like, course, of course. I, 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 the thing is, like, I wish that there was like more, like trains that had their own separate cars, which I know makes public transportation a little okay, less accessible someone who lives wait. in ohio right now i don't want anything to do with trains just saying that. uh, that's fair <laughs> but that's also because the, the <laughs> tra like public transport derailments in the past but that's also because public transport's not as funded right like if it was better funded it would yeah. hopefully be better i mean none of these are Hydrate. public transports they're just yeah we have a lot of uh, public transport in montreal it's super accessible 
and uh, I'm all for it. I, I, that's all I use. I, I, I'm like, super yeah, lucky because I realize that people don't have it. Yeah, yeah. I don't. Yeah. I, I, I realized like I've grown up with this in my life. It's, like it's a given to me. Like I, I always, it's all I know. So like, I don't know. I feel lucky now that I know that a bunch of people don't have it. But yeah, I'm all, I'm all for more public transportation. But yeah, if, public? but I know that some people just can't because like some people come from outside where there's less so they need a car to then get to the public transportation like like they travel in their car to the big city then they use public transit which yeah. is yeah yeah I, like they it's don't really public have public transportation have is such a, a wild concept for me when it's like you live grow up living 35 minutes away from a walmart like just out in the middle of nowhere it's like public transportation is saying, "Hey, can I take can I carpool with you?" <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to your neighbor, like. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. There's also one other thing. Public transportation is slow. It's really slow. Like going to my work oh, would dude, take me no. maybe half an yeah, hour. Yeah, because we and... have public transport at my university. So like to get between all five camp or four campuses, you have to take a bus, and it's I, yeah. I try my best to avoid it. It sucks. It's, it's well, really slow. You have to plan too, like, really well. It's like more people are relying on it. Like, I think Mari was saying the other day that yeah, they were late because they were on like strike. the entire yeah the entire train was on or transportation was on strike. So just like tons of people were just screwed out of being able to get to where they needed to go. Yeah, yeah. I remember when that happened here. Like, you have to find alternatives, and it's really hard. Yeah. I don't know, man. This is why I'm not a politician. This is all. Yeah. <laughs> I don't yeah, care. We'll just okay, criticize them no matter we'll what. Just, yeah, exactly. They, they can. The if we're on, they will if always we're on like semi-controversial topics, what's your opinion on the whole Mr. Beast drama? I don't know if you heard about it. Oh my god, I don't know what this drama is. I was actually but thinking about this earlier. I was like, should I bring this up at any point? Because here's the thing, Let's right? Do it. I think when you've yeah. got a big YouTuber, you're gonna get controversy no matter what you do. Are, are you yeah. talking about the thousand blind children one? Yeah, but not only that. Also, the fact that people are blaming him of. Uh, Having like a Mr. Beast philanthropy, just doing it for like views and stuff. Yeah, well, the thing I mean, is, he, like, I mean, he is essentially he is a business guy. He's doing it just for views, but the views make well, money that help more people. That's the thing, right? Yeah, but the thing he said is all the profits on that philanthropy channel that he has is reinvested into food yeah, banks yeah. or like. So he makes like zero monies technically, but in the public eye, he gains people who are like, oh, Mr. Beast, nice, you know. So is he? I don't know. I don't know. I've always in, had. In this... my opinion, yeah. I'd rather him do that than not. Like, yeah, yeah. Even if he's doing it for like, let's say, I'm not saying he's doing it for gain, but even if he's doing it for gain, I'd rather him help like a uh, how many a what? thousand people see. Yeah. Than not doing it. I got screwed out of. Oh no. Yeah, I was watching. That sucks, dude. I got freaking. But yeah, that, that's the whole drama. People are like getting angry because he's helping and they're accusing him of doing it for the views but also yeah. uh, i watched ludwig talk about this yeah and, and uh yes he was i was saying, about to bring that up yeah yeah he was saying like don't blame mr beast but blame the system it's like yeah the that's best what i was saying as well yeah he, he quoted was if someone builds a machine that kills orphans and then someone saves like 200 or orphans you're only gonna hear about the person that like save the orphans but you're never gonna hear about why there is a machine that kills orphans yeah exactly like if we have like, the, what's the reason if we have the ability if we have the ability to help blind children why are we not helping blind children that's like the thing right yeah so it's like yeah, someone's doing yeah. at least that's that's if, the thing if right mr like, beast can do it why is the government not doing it? why but, does it take mr beast to do it when when yeah. this first came up i remember seeing the drama and i just I, I think we had a conversation maybe in my Discord or something and I, my one comment was just guys I think people are more angry about the system rather than just be Mr. Beast like I think yeah, and they're using him a little bit of he's Mr. Goes. Beast is just trying to make the best of both systems bro. like what I will yeah. say is he is definitely less like he's a, he's less emotionally driven than any of the other big YouTubers like we have not I don't know. I don't know how to explain this, right? Like T, um, what was it? T series. They got a hundred mil, but no one really cared about them as like people, right? Like it was just a company. Yeah, it was just it a was brand. A company, yeah. PewDiePie was an actual person, so when people were rooting for Pewds, it was like, this is an actual like real human being that I I yeah, but I feel connected I think that to in was some a, way. A whole like company versus human. Yeah, yeah. But what my point being, 
uh, Mr. Beast has kind of become more of a brand. Like, he is a yeah. person, like, whenever I've seen any clips of him meeting people in real life, like, the fans have not had a super, like, you know, good, like, not good, but as in, like, they haven't been, he hasn't been super personable with him. And from everything I've learned, because he, one person who goes to my university, uh, Antpo, he has, like, a, he has a million on, on YouTube, and he is currently under uh, Mr. Beast's wing, right? And okay. uh, Antpo is also a business major, and Mr. Beast, as everyone probably knows at this point, is a business guy. He knows business. Yeah, yeah of course. So, like, I think the whole thing with both of them is, like, uh, obviously they try to be personable, they try to be nice, but at the end of the day, they are business guys. I think that's what sours on people, is just, like, oh, they're business guys, they don't really care about us. But the thing is, like, yeah. at the same time, who cares? Like, they're still helping real people. They're still helping people. It, it's, yeah. it's, like that, it's like that ancient story yeah. about, like, an old man goes down to the beach and sees the young boy tossing, tossing starfish back into the, into the ocean. And the old man says to the boy, like, why are you doing this? There's hundreds of thousands of starfish on this beach. They're all going to die. And the young boy is just like, yeah, but the ones that I'm throwing back will be grateful that I saved them. So it's like, yeah. yeah, like, yes, you know, maybe, you know, you can criticize Mr. Beast, whatever. But at the end of the day, he is just helping the few, like, the few people who get help, they are going to appreciate that they got helped, you know? 100%. Yeah, 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 100%. I agree with you. Yeah, like, it's like Mr. Beast could have all that money that he has and not be helping people, which is exactly what the same people mad at Mr. Beast for helping people are saying. Like, or not even not even always people. the send, sell, said people. Some of those said people are poor, but, like, anybody that they're watching, they might be taking the money that they get. Like, any big streamer you're watching, they might be taking the money they're well, getting and not doing that stuff, you know? Yeah, and buying, like, a Lamborghini yeah. instead of... Yeah, that's of, what I... Like, <laughs> that a felt like a call out. Who are mad at Mr. Beast for like posting a video about helping people? It's like they're also mad because it's like, wow, Elon Musk or Jeff Bezos or whatever has all that money and they didn't help in this XYZ disaster or whatever. And then it's like Mr. Beast is like, I'm gonna help these people even if it's a small amount. It costs me lots of money. I don't care. I'm gonna help these people. And people are like, I'm not gonna make wow, it. I can't believe you're posting a video about this. Yeah, because at the end of the day, the way he helps people is through the money he makes off those videos. So it's like, yeah, he's yeah. going to post a yeah. video and he's going to get fame only. off of it. And that's the thing. That's not what anymore. people don't like, I think. He's gaining money from Peaceables and from Beast Burgers. But he did yeah. say Beast Burger was because of COVID restaurants were like downsizing because there was less yeah. people. So visiting. he was like literally employing people that were basically yeah, out he, of a job. You know how, <laughs> how Beast Burger works, right? It's basically existing restaurants because there's no physical beast burger. It's all online and existing restaurants get the ingredients. Like they send the ingredients in the packaging to existing restaurants. Like let's say like the, the local restaurant next door. Yeah. They make Mr. Beast Burger in their kitchen, but they don't sell them physically. Like they, they just deliver them. I, through I think Uber there might whatever. actually be physical locations now though. There, like, there might be now. I yeah, think yeah, there yeah. are. But, also, but back then I, there wasn't. Yeah, I, I will point out you probably, shouldn't, you probably shouldn't use UNICEF in this argument because from what I remember, I was doing research on charities a while ago. It's been a couple years now, but my teacher was like, yeah, UNICEF is corrupt. So I, I'm just throwing that out there. But um, <laughs> yeah. dude, I like how Ellie just put such a dig out there in the middle of Rot's <laughs> the conversation. Yeah. No, I just thought of like, I, Wait, I don't know. Buy a Lambo? Could, I was pretty sure. I, I was pretty sure you were making a dig at Valkyrie. <laughs> oh, I didn't know. I yeah, she, no she she has a. She, I think I remember seeing a short earlier. I don't where really keep up with. Someone pointed out. To be honest, she, how many of those people don't? don't yeah, I mean, Sparkles has like three really high-end cars, right? Yeah. I don't know. Then again, I, I, I like don't know, it's, it's been a while. It's, Come on, stop oh. trying to kill me. This fuck. Oh my god. Yeah. He was so adamant about trying to kill me. It was pissing me off. Are yeah, any of you alive? No. 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 no I was the, back out. God, that was so annoying. I watched him try to kill me so many times. I was just like, why are you after me right now? Get off my ass. Well, let's say, let's say <laughs> Mr. Beast, instead of using the money he makes, he buys a Lambo. Then people will criticize him again. There's no win. Yeah, there, I mean, on, yeah. at the end of the day, there is no winning, be, especially on Twitter. There's no be winning. kind of not right, but like, yeah. I don't know. I, I've like, always believed if you if you work for your money, you can do whatever you want with it. And I'm glad that Mr. Beast is helping people. I don't I don't like his content. I don't watch it. I don't know if I like him as a person. 
Like I, I, I don't know. I feel like he's a little bit awkward. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. I don't. I honestly, I don't, I don't watch him. But like, I don't think I, I would you know, vibe with him. If but you, if you do still, good things, whatever. And, yeah. Exactly. Um, also, yeah, Autism Speaks is another. Oh yeah, Autism Instead, Speaks. Yo, yeah. hey, hey, how about this? Instead of donating to Autism Speaks, go and uh, send a donation to Autism Father. Uh, yeah, support Oddcraft. I'm yeah. thinking. He actually oh, helped. Yeah, on, on Facebook, I, I know. He is supported by, I mean, Minecraft themselves. Mother they've... who's adopted someone who was has like, I don't know how to say this without seeming like, I don't want to just say they are really autistic because that's not right. They're know, high, they're further autism. along on the autistic spectrum, or they yes, are just like low you. functioning. Like they were autism. They have low functioning and just autism. Like nonverbal and like all the biting and like just other stuff. And like they've come a long way from that, which is super cool to see. But like, yeah, they're always like Autism Speaks is a horrible company. Like, as the mother of someone with autism. Because like, I think the, the goal I think the whole to... problem with Autism Speaks is they see autism as a problem and not just yeah, a thing exactly. that like yeah you know their goal is to like somehow remove get it rid of yeah it. yeah remove it which is not how it's that works I mean it's like it's like ADHD like they're both neurodivergencies right like neuro I, I think this is a whole thing that I've talked to my friends about because it's like it's interesting to learn about your brains right so neurotypical is obviously just you're just kind of like vibing neuro um atypical is stuff like anxiety depression stuff that you can still work on and stuff that you don't have to like not all people have to live with forever right like there are certain things you can do to alleviate it and stuff and then adhd and autism they're neurodivergencies where they're like they are just kind of chronic like it's just like a thing you were born with i don't know how to word it properly but like you know it's just kind of a thing yeah. that you just it's live with and you work more around like it a genetic thing work with it or... yeah a genetic thing like, or whatever like are... a brain thing yeah it's like really confusing and it's like not everything obviously fits in a box because there are genetic factors that that uh attribute to certain mental illnesses like depression anxiety all that stuff which is like really interesting yeah to learn about and it's just or like great yeah even cool. even <laughs> even yeah yeah exactly like no even shot, anxiety no and all that. <laughs> but like also but also there's certain it's it's super cool because if you get like genetic testing done for certain markers or whatever and they're like okay because of this marker you're more prone to have depression anxiety whatever they can like give you like they can help decide the best medication for you based on your genetic makeup if it if it is contributing to yeah your those. genetic makeup in sephora <laughs> I don't know, it's just something that's super cool and like i didn't yeah. i dude i was reading shy in your process that was a good one yeah no roth you're right uh it, it's i don't know brains are, dude brains are so fucked yeah. brains are that's so what happened like, with uh so i think that's what happened with f he didn't know he had autism until his kids got tested or something like that he, he learned late that he had it yeah because there's also like high functioning autism and low functioning autism some people are non-verbal mm. some people they don't realize until later that they have autism so. me dude hello you remember our conversations about that yeah yeah oh the, do you the have that verbal thing is that where you're saying yeah. oh, like okay it's way too expensive to get but yeah, yeah, one of my friends yeah. told me that they got yeah, tested like growing up, when they were younger and got in that. Because yeah, like, one of my I can't friends. I can't hear your head nod yes and no because I wouldn't speak in yeah. certain situations, and I still like. I I'm an idiot. I didn't sometimes. qualify. I'm sorry. I didn't. I didn't know. Okay. This one is so I'm dumb. Back. I'm back in. Oh yeah, God, I hate I hate dirt dirt dash. His luck face. But then I was like, I told mom, I was like, I think I might be like on the spectrum, and she's like. Yeah, I know. I'm just like, huh? <laughs> 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 I just yeah. like talk to other people. And they're like, yeah, I kind of figured, but like, I didn't want to say anything. I'm just like, I mean, I guess thanks because like that would just make my anxiety shoot up a lot. But like, idiot, you can go unnoticed. I have a feeling that it's either like myself. I don't think. If, I don't think it's ADHD. It might be, I don't know, or it might just be like really social, all, socially awkward myself. Why are you but talking I about have... my feet? What the heck? <laughs> what? Yeah, what the like... heck? Strook is weird, bro. Oh, Strook, Strook probably yeah, saw the feet. Probably saw the emo, I think. 
Oh yeah. But yeah, I have the worst time looking at someone in the eye. Like, like oh, people yeah, talk yeah. to me, they look at me in the eye, and I'm like dying. Dude, like, my I'm, dad would always I, yell I at me want about to that. Die. For yeah. real. No, my it's, dad would always yell at me about that. You, I, I, I don't know how. I just started to learn to like just look people in the eye but it always makes me uncomfortable and i always feel oh. like they're uncomfortable yeah tricky man in game <laughs> oh <laughs> i was so confused concrete grippers what's up cap <laughs> hey cap but yeah no, cap. it's just super interesting and like i just got prescribed medicine for like ocd and so it's just like, bro, my brain is an absolute nightmare. <laughs> Dude, I hate talking about brains because it's just, there's, I, every time I learn about a new thing about ADHD, like a new symptom or whatever, <laughs> I'm just like, oh. <laughs> oh yeah, like, okay, last year I was talking to someone. I was like, yeah, when I was younger, like we went to this holistic or naturalistic doctor or whatever, who's kind of weird, but like, also I learned some crazy stuff. Yeah. Um, but I was like, I googled a medicine he had put me on. Turns out it's for ADHD. <laughs> you did. I was like, oh, cool. Like, no one told me this. They just like, yeah, let's take this. They'll just take this a little bit better at school when you have a test wow. coming up. And I'm like, all right. See, yeah, mental health used, used like, to be like, didn't used to be as accepted. Not accepted is probably not the right word, but as acknowledged, I guess. Acknowledged. I don't know. It used sure. to be seen as like yeah. the, the worst it, thing. It just went like, like, if, if you went to a psych ward or anything, it was seen as like, yeah, you're just, crazy. It, yeah, you're crazy. And just yeah. the word crazy or insane was just like much more like, I don't know. Yeah. Well, I probably should have gone to like word multiple. Yeah, multiple yeah, multiple my friends I, have gone. Uh, Bell, I know the said, vibes. I've always had like a suspicion, but I've never tested myself or anything because it oh, hasn't you really killed me. my life with a like that. Oh my gosh, someone killed me. In a way that I felt like I needed help. Like I've been able to live with it all my life, so I have never... I hate doctors, so I just avoid them. And, um, but yeah, when I was a kid, my mom would call me an alien, which is slightly what brought in my whole persona into being an alien. Because apparently I wouldn't... I would just never talk to people. Like I was super shy, unless it was people I knew really well. So I don't know. Maybe I have that. I don't know. <laughs> Like, I would just vibe by myself. Like, part of it's, like, social awkwardness type of thing. But, like, yeah. other times it's, like, there's certain people that I can kind of look them at in the face. But, like, most of the time, because I'm so tall, I just look at the top of their head. Like, you're <laughs> oh, nice bald spot. Dude. Um, I always felt bad at work when people came to me to ask me a question because I just wouldn't look at them. Like, I would always, like, look at my screen, look away, look in the distance because I yep. just hate and my work interview like being like trying to get the job was my worst day in my life because every video that i watched was like yeah you have to keep eye contact you have to like tell them that you're interested in stuff like just show them that you're interested, interested in what they're saying yeah. and all that and, and bro that was the worst like one hour in my life because i had to force myself I, I think they could see tears coming out of my eyes Aww. because i probably wasn't blinking <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, dude, Ellie! I don't know how like every time Wait, we talk, we eyes. come up with another thing. Oh, <laughs> you have two every eyes. Time I, what? No, dude. Every time we talk, I feel like we always just like realize that we have another thing in common. Like, I don't know why yeah. it happens every time. No, because I definitely have we had go, the same we're, issue. We're the same person, dude. Like, you're just Indian Ellie, and I'm yeah. Latino Ari. Yeah, this is why we have been friends for so long. Like, no, like, cause yeah. I, I've definitely had like. For me, eye contact has always been an issue, and my dad would constantly, like, he would get really, really pissed. He'd be like, why do you never talk, why do you never look me in the eyes? Or he would, like, get pissed when I didn't talk to people who came over. Because, like, I just, you know, I just didn't, like, vibe with them, so I just wouldn't talk to them. He'd be like, why, why aren't you talking to them? And I don't think he realized that it's just, like, it, it just hurts. It hurt me yeah. to do that. Did, yeah. Did your parents ever force you to be like, oh, yo, come say hi? And yeah, I oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, just like you just kind of like thing. look at the ground and like yeah. twiddle your thumbs and just like. But then I had the I, I had like one, uh, I had like a couple months or something where I would constantly go out because really? like my friends and I finally had time, and then oh. over the last like over my senior summer I was out like every day like I was and my grandparents were here so I barely saw them like they were living here and I barely saw them because I was just constantly oh, out. Oh, these boys, I'm out. Oh no, <laughs> I'm probably out as well. I might be too. <laughs> I haven't played this in Yo. a while. 
but yeah, then after that, me. they stopped forcing me. Oh, yeah, me. you're not done. Yeah, they, they stopped. I mean, I was just gonna say, they stopped forcing me to go out and like see their friends because they're like, oh, Ari is actually like doing stuff, just not with the people that we want them to do stuff with. So they're yeah, like, yeah, at least you're not just totally alone yeah. in your room playing video games. <laughs> My dad, because uh, he's really old school, so like, I don't know. He sometimes, like, you know how. Like we're talking right now, we're not looking at each other. Like yeah. I just, I'm use, using my ears. Yeah. But my dad, if I'm not like, my head is not turned towards him, he will stop talking until I turn my head towards him. Because he feels like I'm not paying attention. And dude, I had like a massive argument with him. I was like, bro, I can still hear you. Like finish your freaking sentence. And he actually got super angry at me because I was not looking at him. But I think it's again due to that thing. Yeah, I do. I'm there's, getting absolutely this shit. Honestly, everything we're talking about is literally just like old society things versus new society things. Like everything we've had a conversation about so far is literally just like how has things developed as time has gone on, yeah. right? Like, I don't know. Things are just constantly changing. And I think people are becoming more aware of the fact that like we don't need to just like stare each other in the eyes to talk. Like, it doesn't mean disrespect. I'm destroying this person. This guy, no life to this game. I'm at 4-1 right now. I this guy only life, plays this game when this game is in the rotation. I'm at 5-1. Get alive, oh you stupid loser flower-looking uh, guy. Shut up. Two, two. I'm at 6-1. I'm losing 4-0. I just scored on myself. <laughs> this guy actually no life to this game. There's no point. He, there's no way he's this good at this game. No. I'm throwing, I'm throwing. I'm throwing, I'm throwing. 7 1. Oh my god. I have. I should go touch some grass after this. Grash. I should go touch some grass after this stream. So, Roth, are you gonna lose? Yeah. I, I think Ellie's out, but I'm, I'm good. I'm out. Yeah. I, I, I won 9 1. I scored two goals. I'm the opponent. This guy was way too good. Myself. I've never played with someone this good. That's crazy. Oh, damn. I'm not that good. I'm not good enough for you. I don't he think we he goes silent. He goes completely game. silent. I was trying to remember if we played this game <laughs> against each other. No, I think you've played against Bishop, and I've played against Bishop, and we've both killed I've played him. Played against Bishop. Yeah. We've both yeah, killed yeah, him. Yeah. yeah. I, I, like I'm, I'm all right. Like it's not my best round, but I'm all right. This guy destroyed me. Like he had strats. My mom Who's left Roth and uh, no, just Ari. No, I, I'm, but, out, I'm out. Well, we're doing this for. I mean, it's a finale at least. When I was a kid, my mom used to read me books before bed. And she used to wear enough. Oh, drawing. that's actually really cool. Okay. She always, she would always say it backward, for or Treble would always say it backward for word to their mom. And then she stopped worrying about her paying, about them paying attention. Treble, sorry, what are your pronouns? I'm, I'm forgetting. My bad. I think Treble is she. She? I'm pretty sure. Who's left is just me, Fede, and uh, the other eight people, nine people. I'm she here. Thank you. Yeah. So, okay, that's actually pretty cool, Treble. I, I'm very bad at multitasking, I think, but I'm also just bad at listening. Like, if I, even if I'm not doing something else, I might just not listen to what you're saying. And this has happened I've on noticed. stream. This I has happened noticed, on stream yeah. a lot. <laughs> but I, I think, but I think that's just ADHD. Yeah, it is. Uh, but honestly, today's stream, I think I did pretty well. I think we we yeah, yeah, yeah. we had some good conversations. And I actually held on. Honestly, like I just came in with here because it's been so long since I streamed. But you I said it in at here the with start the of the stream. No, yeah. You said it when I joined. You said that having people that remind you to go back on topic or like, oh, what were you saying, Ari? Yeah, 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 exactly. Because when you're on your own, you go off topic so easy. It, uh, yeah. It's really easy to get distracted by, like, I'm the same. Really yeah. easy to get distracted by, like, something that happened in the game and then you forget your, your train of thought. But yeah. I'm also really good. Like, I've, I'm, I've worked on this. Like, I've actually tried. I'm really good at telling people, like, oh, what were you saying? Because I, I feel bad that, like, like they, they couldn't finish whatever they say. But when I'm passionate about something, I'm also really good at cutting people off. Oh, 100%. We cut yeah. each other off so much. Bro, Roth has... There have been so many points this stream where Roth has just been like, guys, can I talk? Yeah. And like, but, we, we just kept talking. I felt yeah. so bad. It's like, no, I 100% get it. Like, there's... Like, if someone starts talking about, like, Star Wars or Magic the Gathering or, like, something else, I'll just, no! like, talk, oh. talk, 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 talk. No. Like people are like, uh huh, yeah, that's that's super cool, Ross. That's glad for you. <laughs> it's like you don't care, do you? Yeah, no, I, I totally like, get that. I, understand. I mean, honestly, like I think wow, this stream, this stream is the epitome. <laughs> it's the epitome of why we're friends. Like, if you watch the stream, you understand why the three of us are friends. Like, we are all able yeah. to have, you know, like we can have arguments and come out of it like completely. Did Ellie just scream really loud? Yeah, he did, and so did I. I did. Um. 
Like we you know, all, we've had uh, arguments about what was it? We've had uh, arguments about a lot before. Like we've taxes, been friends for taxes yeah, and yeah, like yeah. healthcare. Yes. <laughs> we've had a lot of And in that one arguments. I was the middle one. I remember. I was the middle one and, and yeah, I remember that one. We've also had conversations <laughs> about how much I hate Jeff Bezos. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. No, like that, that's the thing, right? Like we we you know, like we all can have arguments and get out of it fine because we have respect for each other and like understand yeah. that like not, none of us are like that's what's wrong with society because <laughs> <laughs> people are just like yeah that's why i hate twitter twitter has no nuance and it's made for it to have no nuance because people can just say activist things or just very mm. like blunt statements and anyone can take it however they want but like if you have yeah, conversations like this you're scaring people off of twitter though because <laughs> twitter can be a good platform if you i mean no it can it can i i definitely tailored it to myself but if i go on my Yo, for you page, never it go sucks. to the for you page. yeah no it's, never it's go terrible. to the for you page. <laughs> following page is where it's at I, man i got on twitter and i was just like all these people with tweets and it wasn't like this tweet suggested for you it's just all these people tweets and i'm just like who are all these people? yeah exactly these the people that i know and exactly like, oh it's a for you page that i didn't even know like for you because they, they're trying to do the TikTok thing but they can't do it because their for you page sucks like every time i go on i just see a bunch of the worst most transphobic things i've ever seen in my life like it got so bad i had to like do research to make sure i wasn't on the wrong side on trans people i was like this is so common like the transphobia was so common that i had to like just make sure that i was like for real on the right side with trans rights right like it's it's it, it was atrocious how much transphobia was on my yeah. timeline. There was a, I had like a bunch of vaccine stuff and just like borderline alt right propaganda. <laughs> yeah. Like, bro. Like, why? Why? And uh, it's like I click on these names of people and I'm like, I'm not following them. Why am I getting suggested this? Like, <laughs> like oh, for you page, sick. For like, a bit, I had a lot of definitely what I want to on TikTok. I don't know why. Like, I'm so glad dude, I avoided, all I avoided him. Shorts or Andrew Tate and just like, I'm so glad I avoided him on every single platform. I don't know how, because I would scroll through shorts, reels, and TikToks. Cause like, you know, I watched, I watched some of his stuff because I wanted to know what the hype was all about. I think that was why yeah. I just thought I assumed. And the dude speaks well. Like he, the way he speaks, he speaks with like determination, and he like he's super articulate the way he speaks. But what he says is like completely ridiculous. The problem like, is he I he think... always or not always, but he very often does have a small hint of truth in each yeah, argument. Yeah, exactly. Like he yeah. like he was talking once about like oh all these kids are always smoking vapes and stuff. They always have something in their mouth. Like they can't breathe normal air. I was like, yeah, like I I don't like vapes or e-cigs. Like I I personally don't would never partake like i don't like nicotine i think it's very I'll destructive die. and um <laughs> <Time to die. laughs> yeah no this is gonna suck but like but then he then at the end of that clip he goes i mean yeah i smoke a cigar but like that's because i know how to do it and i was like okay you immediately go back on your point because you're pretending like you are better than everyone else you're like, using the point that everyone's gonna agree about like most people are gonna agree about to then to like reinforce your argument i guess yeah and then go complete the opposite way yeah it just it it just sucks because i mean it also yeah, sucks because the there's so thing. many people who are just like using his philosophies I also, I also looked into why he blew up and i joked about it earlier when, when uh Shuki said like she used your content yeah uh he pretty much encouraged people to post stuff that he said just so it would be everywhere and it worked it worked. Like it, it worked, worked I'm, I'm very last. well. I'm laughing. Oh, I'm crap. How, uh, Roth, are you in? I think Roth is right next to me. Yeah. <laughs> uh, should I keep pushing or should I back out? Yeah, go yeah, for go it. Go for it. Go for it. Go for All it. All right. Uh, yeah. Okay, one funny thing that I got recommended by Andrew Tate, and it was because the lead singer in my all-time favorite band commented on it. And so the lead singer of the band, his name is Garrett, he always trolls, like, the right wing bullcrapping like phobic people yeah bigoted all the time on twitter stuff, yeah <laughs> yeah and so it's like andrew tate was like i've what was the tweet i forget he's saying something about he's been staring at the same here i have it on my phone he says think of everything you've done since new year's eve the places you've been the people you've met the experience you've had i've been in the exact same room every day every night and they will not let me leave and then Garrett comments, dude, that's crazy. Sounds like prison, not gonna lie. Oh my god. So it's just like... Uh. 
That that is one thing that it's like, okay, when it's some bigot doing something stupid on Twitter and then Garrett's commenting on it in like a super sarcastic like way, it's just hilarious. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, dude, I someone sent me um what well, what my group chat uh for school sent a, a tape tweet that I don't even remember what it was. I can make maybe check after this. But he was just saying he's just he says so much crazy stuff. Like the the whole escape the matrix thing is insane. I it's yeah. I don't it, the whole I, rhetoric I is built means... upon tricking younger guys, you know? Younger men. Yeah, younger <sighs> men who are like I'm good. Alone and feel like they're kind of useless and weak and stuff like that. Yeah. That's who he's yeah. trying to target. He's trying to prey on them, which is bad in my opinion. Yeah. Is it bad preying on people? Is that bad? <laughs> uh, you're right. Uh, it depends, I guess. No. I mean, if, <laughs> if you're the police and you're preying on a criminal, is it bad? Is it bad? But Guys, are is they it bad? Criminal or are they not white? Oh, <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> okay, yeah. Getting yeah. real. I, Getting I, real, I real. Your point. I see. I, I couldn't resist. No, the problem. I think yeah, the, the biggest we problem. The police just like sitting outside of our apartment. Like, wait, 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 wait. Maybe uh, something apartment, apartment. criminal. Once uh, Andrew Tate got pretty much canceled, uh, I haven't seen Andrew Tate anywhere anymore. Like, I think they've just wiped him out. What, ever since he went to jail, I think they just wiped him out. Or somehow I managed to he not watch like, enough of him. He tweets like once a month. <laughs> then his fans are like, we love you, Andrew. <laughs> Yeah. We're gonna we're gonna own the libs for you. Got him. Uh, Struck. I'm hopefully gonna stream more often right now because I'm in spring break. But uh, have a good night. <laughs> yeah, I um, I, oh. the, the biggest no, the biggest problem that I've seen with Andrew Tate is just the problem that like, so like there is a problem of like higher rates of male suicide and. I think it's just there's just so many factors to it, and he pre he preys on that specifically, because the problem is like yeah. I've you know I've I've had to deal with friends who, you know, have dealt with that stuff, so like I know personally how like rough it can get, um, and him preying on that on like them feeling like like oh you don't have a girl so you're worthless or whatever like stuff like that, that rhetoric is like, it, using it like in a in a aggressive way is just it's disgusting. Yeah, it's. Yeah, and it's weird because it's like not a logical way to it's like, oh, you can't get a girl because you're weak, you're worthless, you're not a real man. Here's how to be a real man. Treat girls like crap. And it's just like, that's... Yeah. Social media does it's promote cool. extremism. Yeah, yeah. No, it 100% does. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I think social, that's, social that's media... That's what gets the most. Is it's like yeah, exactly. One way or the other, either people who love it are like, yeah, retweeting it, or people who hate it are retweeting it saying, this is so dumb. And, and, Either way, then, it gets traction. This is it why gets I, views, and then social media benefits from it. So that's probably why you saw Andrew Tate everywhere because uh, TikTok has no morality in a way. Like they don't care. It, it keeps people on their platform, so they're not gonna delete it. You know. I mean, it's Until, already proven that TikTok certain things go viral because TikTok just clicked a button and made it go viral. Yeah. 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 yeah I think. TikTok stopped promoting Andrew Tate, first of all, because he lost traction, and also because he got canceled. I think that's the only reason. If not, you would have kept seeing Andrew Tate everywhere because it keeps people on their platform. And yeah. if you're TikTok, you probably want that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. My, my brother like, kind of like lost an entire friendship over Andrew Tate, which is like. My brother like cut ties with the person, which is like good on him, but also sucks because my brother is a lot like me, not too many friends or whatever. So it was a coworker that was around his age, and so they would like hang out and like play video games and stuff together. And it's just like, yeah, my brother sent him a text jokingly when Andrew Tate got caught with the. Well, I guess it's been proven it wasn't because of the Greta stuff and the pizza box, but yeah, was it not? He said I'm. It wasn't. Oh. Yeah, he sent him a thing saying, oh, looks like your old buddy's in jail. <laughs> and his 
co former friend co-worker guy just started like trying to defend him or whatever and, and people are like, still trying to defend him and he's in jail bro like do you yeah, think they just like, i mean he's like, in jail I, for I, human trafficking like, yeah like i get I, i'm like, sure there are false that? imprisonments but like if he's in jail yeah. like are you really gonna keep defending the guy with all your heart evidently yeah and this guy has like a I don't know if it's a wife or girlfriend or whatever, and they a have partner. a young son together. Yeah. Um, but it's a very uh, what it, is it? Then the guy started talking about Wait like homophobic stuff and saying like if his son ever turned out gay, he would kick him out. And his son's like three months old, and I'm like, why are you already thinking about that? Like, so my mm. brother's like, I'm just gonna. And like, they call and they call LGBT them. people groomers. Like, goddamn. Immediately yeah. trying and so to my make sure just kind of like women. ghosted him and like didn't say anything back and that's as far as I know and I'm just like this is yeah. Also yeah, the whole thing of like social media pushing extremism is definitely real. Like that's why like I try my best in most arguments unless they're like about human rights and if everyone should have human rights. I I try to be nuanced and like try to uh you know like see both sides because I think it is important to like yeah. um. Sorry, I was trying to allow one of Varmint's things to go through. Um, I think it is important to like just. I, I don't like calling myself a liberal or anything. Like I, I like. I'd rather just say I'm apolitical, but that comes off as I don't care about politics, which is not what I mean. It's more that like I refuse to just choose a side because that's what all the other people of the same party are choosing. You know. Yeah. And very often I do pick sides that are leftist, but I'd, I'd rather pick sides that are built around the ideals that I have formed. Yeah, I don't really get into politics because I just don't follow enough. I, I think yeah, America is just a very political country as well because we, we're like, oh, we're a melting yeah. point, but, but then we can't live up to that name. Like, like and India, you know India is all Indians, and we are very racist in India. I will admit that. Like, there's a lot of issues there, but it's less, po like, political, I guess, because you're not claiming something, to be equal. Something that is really well, confusing India, to me. It's kind go of ahead, like classist ahead. as well, right? Because it's still yes. Oh yeah, the dude. Caste honestly, system. we we have a lot of bigoted things. That I I think the caste system's removed now, but like okay. some some of the yeah. higher up people in the who used to be. Higher up in the caste system, still see themselves as like, oh, I am this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. like I, like Let's it was go. definitely built on that, but like, yeah, and like probably some of the same families still benefit from that. GG. So I started this stream saying we would take four hours, and that I always hope it's gonna take two to three hours, and it never does. We are currently at two hours and forty-five minutes, baby. Let's go. What I will say though, uh, I'm technically not done, so let's just finish the other challenges yeah, while we're here. You need race ones, right? Yeah, it's just it's all easy stuff. There's, yeah, I just gotta play a little more. The race one in 45 seconds. How many do you have? Because that one could be tough. Uh, let me check. Stream says three hours seven minutes. Well, I've been recording for yeah. two hours and 45 minutes is what I mean. And recording is when I start playing, so that's what I count. Um, okay, qualify. I need two more race rounds in squads. I need three more okay. finals let's rounds in duos. Then. And I need a little more stuff in Hexagon. Hex let's do squads. Let's do, let's do squads. So I just gotta do easy. race round without dying. That's fine. Yeah, that's easy. Uh, do I need to do it in a time limit? No, I don't. Uh, no. Do I have any time limits left? No, I don't. I got You're rid of probably them. done with it then. Yeah, I did the solo nice. one. Okay, sick. Awesome. Um, there's also people that say educating kids on... LGBT stuff is political propaganda. Same with critical race theory, quote unquote. Critical race theory. Um, Dude, I, and it depends mm. at what age I say. <laughs> I say it depends on what age, because I I believe that there's a certain age where you should just leave your kid be let let just just let be your kid be a kid. Like just let them play it. Let them worry about problems later. In my I, I'm, opinion, I'm uh, fine with that. I just think that I mean for critical race theory, I think it should be taught. Like I mean, critical race theory as a concept is fake, but just the idea of like racism in the country, it should be taught yeah. at some point. But like yeah, LGBT but stuff, I think it should it, be taught I mean, eventually. But like you shouldn't be pushing straight cis propaganda on people, right? Like I don't want. I don't even care if you're not teaching about LGBT stuff early on in people's life. Just don't push cis yeah. straight. No, but stuff, by right? early, I mean, I don't know. I don't know what age would determine it, but like... Like fourth, fifth know. grade, maybe? I think fourth, fifth grade is a pretty good time. That's when we started learning about sex ed and stuff. Yeah, maybe then that could be... But the thing is, you're still going to be exposed to like, oh, religion and, and stuff like that. And I'm nothing against religion, but like... 
I come from a religious background, and a lot of people I know that come from a religious background have been taught that homosexuality is bad. So, I don't know. You're still going to be exposed at a young age. And in my opinion, you should just let you... Even religion, you should not expose your kid to religion before a certain age. In my opinion, you should, Like, I don't know. I feel like religion is a very personal thing. And, like, they should decide if they want to... I don't know. I might I be know. wrong here. But I, I, I get what you mean. It's just like a. It's just. I don't know. Let kids be kids in the way of exactly. let them learn about the world on their own. But you Bro, know was, that can also go bad. Kid, so it's just all difficult. All I wanted to do was play, play with my friends, play outside, play with my toys, whatever. I just wanted to be a kid. You know? I didn't have time to care about whatever. I remember I, being as. Yeah. I definitely think I would have been a happier yeah. child if I didn't learn about politics at like the age of 10, which is when I probably started. <laughs> like, I, I definitely agree with you in that sense. Oh, sorry. I don't know. Yeah, I, I think, I think, yeah. I, don't know. I mean, I, if, if anything, I'd rather kids learn about like all that stuff from a trusted source, like, uh, yeah. a, like education rather than Box. religion. See you, Treble. See you, Treble. Thank you for staying as long as you did. That was very kind. Appreciate it. Thank you yeah, for giving like, me your kid, time. I remember, like, I've sucked all up your time. I don't know if it's like this in the cultures you grew up in, but when I grew up in, it's like going to like weddings or funerals or like any social event that had a lot of people pretty much. Like you had either older family members or just like random old people would be like, hey there, youngster, you got a girlfriend yet? And I'm just like, dude, I'm yeah. seven. Like, I, I yeah, that's the like, worst, man. What are you man. talking about? Dude, Whoa, I literally, I, I just, I just called, I just called a family member or someone, and they were like, uh, oh, what are you gonna do about the tattoos when you get a girlfriend? And I'm like, what? <laughs> I will not be <laughs> with her, I guess, because, but also just like, why are you talking to me about this? Like, okay. Hurry, how are you gonna get a job? If you get a partner, they're probably okay with them. Yeah, 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 yeah. like, why am I gonna change <laughs> like, myself uh, for a partner? Uh, if my partner's not okay with a shit ton of tattoos, why are they with me? To go back to your point where like the gore, the, gore, the whole girlfriend thing the and gore. people judge. <laughs> the gore. <laughs> when when I had um long hair when I was a kid, um, this one lady would always tell my dad, "Is that a girl that you have?" And my dad would always defend me though. So props to my dad because he, he loved out my long hair. He loved my long hair. Like, Shout he out was, to your dad though. Always encouraged me to have like long hair and stuff like He's that. He's my he favorite like, dad. I don't know, but yo, wow. uh, but he has his problems. <laughs> but yeah, dude. There's that thing as well. People judge you physically because <laughs> you prefer, like, I don't know. I'm a kid. I, I like long hair. It's my friends have long hair. And I want to be like my friends I because mean, I think they're cool. I, and <laughs> why are you judging me for that? Yeah, yeah for like real. My dad grew up with kind of, like, longish hair because it was, like, the 70s. Mm -hmm. But, like, my hair is much longer than that now. But it's, like, yeah, and I didn't grow out my hair until after high school. And, like, yeah, it's just, like, even then it's, like, dude, I'm in my 20s and people are, like, Hey there, mister. It's still mister, right? Uh, like, okay. cool. Yo, Novell, exactly what you're saying. I, I totally get what you mean. It's... And that's that's why the whole grooming narrative... That, that's what pisses me off about that narrative, is like, the people who are homophobic because they hear, oh, like, uh, gay people are groomers or whatever. Like, the problem is that they're trying to do what's best from the knowledge that they have, and I, I definitely think they should get more educated. But it sucks, because, like, everyone's trying to do what the best thing is for the community. But this rhetoric that is false is just like causing a strife in the community that doesn't need to be there, you know? Yeah, uh, I think you said that it's super important is definitely education because I, I think Roth can agree with me here. Uh, when I was younger, I grew up like religious and all that. And I was, I, I was probably not in the best, like not mindset, but my ideology was only what I knew, you know, what people told me. Yeah. So like, I don't want to say like, yeah, I was pretty much homophobic in a way but against my will like it was just what i would learn you know and I then mean, yeah i've been i've been people. very open about stuff like that like i've said like when i was 10 i was very alt right like i was very like i i just was exposed to the a, a side of the internet that now i think is i would rather not have been you know but yeah. like the fact that i shifted it tells you that like wait i mean everyone just grows up you know everyone Absolutely. Yeah, i mean imposing I, like beliefs I on kids like, agree uh, that like yeah, I'm not going to be all the conversations I have, but like Ellie can probably attest based on things I've said in the past and whatnot. Like I've yeah. seen a lot of your progress, bro, for real. Yeah, so have I. Like, just, just the way, like, like you can tell someone is 
trying when they ask questions and they try like to learn I, like i i know i don't know everything i know where i come from and i mm -hmm. i know like now i'm definitely like on the good path 100 percent but yeah. i didn't always used to be like that but at least i'm trying my best and my my mindset has definitely changed like i'm way more open than i will than i ever have been in my life and i i've seen I would, many I people say the same for me as well like if Eddie, you give me a hydrate. I don't like, have any water left. I don't left. know what to say on a lot of things, but I'm just like, man, I just can't be friends with. Why can't we just be friends with people and just be like? Yeah, exactly. You just let them be themselves. Yeah, I mean, I've seen growth from both of you. I mean, I've been friends with you guys for a very long time, I so just, obviously, you know, I like this game. Dude, same. <laughs> we'll be fine. We'll carry you. We'll carry. Uh, I'm not gonna carry shit. I'm dead. <laughs> Dude, I had no okay. shot. I got launched so okay. high in the I'm air, like this, above this right all of them. I also think I got my race rounds anyway, so it's all good. Okay. No, but yeah, like I, like we've had con arguments again. Uh, like I said, we've been friends for so long. Of course, we've had arguments. We try to be respectful of each other and stuff, as you guys saw yeah. in the earlier part of the stream. Um, like we've had conversations in the past that were much more like political and much more like we were on very opposing sides and i've definitely seen growth from all of us because i was also very extremely left for a while where i wasn't listening to people oh i got destroyed and here. that's why i try my best like even now to try to listen to everyone regardless unless it's again if it's on the quality of human rights that's a different subject that i feel like shouldn't even be political yeah. that is just an issue i saw something like i saw something earlier today actually which which said we don't need equality we need equity yeah and I, I didn't know what the difference was and it's super interesting actually. yeah equity i i know there's this one image of there's three people trying to watch a baseball game yeah that's over the one a fence yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. One. over a fence one of them is tall one of them is medium one of them is short or one of them's a kid whatever right like the short and um and equality so, is they're all just watching through the fence equity yeah. so is equality when the, would be like give everyone like i don't know a, a water bottle but like you, you, I, you could have just let me water. you could have just let me finish the, yeah. the one okay, i was okay, already you were, saying you were going there? man okay, okay, okay. man <laughs> i wasn't sure if you were going there <laughs> <laughs> he cuts me off when i'm explaining the image and then starts making up a I, scenario yeah, you, you, that he didn't you even know ran away from the image <laughs> no no I, no this was the image you've got you've got someone who's tall medium or short watching through a fence a baseball game and equality okay. is if they're just watching normally through the fence and equity is when you know the medium kid gets one crate so that he can see over the fence and the short kid gets two crates to stand on so that he can see over we're the dead. fence oh, we're dead. yeah we've been dead <laughs> roth yeah. and i are already out you're slow you're a slow little man do we are you do done you... with your two okay i kind of yeah I we need to exit on like, now. like i understand the point of that analogy but i kind of don't like it just because everyone i grew up around is like well why aren't they paying for tickets to watch the game in the first place <laughs> <laughs> it's it's such a dumb argument. Oh and my I'm god! And I'm just like, yeah. Because yeah. I mean, most baseball games that you're just seeing on a field, it's either you watch on the bleachers or you watch around the fence. But, yeah, but that's an analogy. Like it could apply to anything. Like like my example right. with water. Like someone who's more thirsty will need more water than someone who just drank. You see, like yeah. someone who's not thirsty. And, and like if it's equality, you're gonna give both a water bottle. If it's equity, you're gonna give the one dude that is super thirsty more. Modern, yeah, like if if someone's if someone's making a billion dollars and you think that they shouldn't be making a billion dollars and you tax them ninety percent, equality would be taxing everyone ninety percent, which really screws the people at the bottom. Equity would be taxing them ninety percent and having different tax brackets, which we do have, um, yeah. to some extent. Um, like that's, yeah, but they yeah. still manage to work around it and not pay. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, that's a whole different <laughs> thing. Yeah. I don't know, bro. This should. Uh, when I post this vod, I don't even know what to call it. I'm just gonna be like the political podcast. <laughs> like, I don't even know what to call it. We went hey, so. You guys want to start a podcast? We <laughs> shut the fuck up, dude. I can't. I'm not white. <laughs> the oh. amount of times I used to ask Ellie that all the time. I then I grew up and I was like, I don't want a podcast. That is too much work. Yeah. Let the other people it's, it's, keep it's more speaking. more fun when it just kind of happens. It just happens. Yeah. Naturally. I mean, I mean, so at the end like, of today. We're gonna talk about marijuana. Dude, drugs. someone someone just like dive bombed me. They came for my ass. I don't know why they tried to kill me so bad. They knew I was streaming. This is a, it's it, attack the big YouTuber syndrome. <laughs> um, no, but like honestly, like at the end of the day, streaming with you guys is just what our voice calls are normally. That's why like we had a conversation <laughs> that we already had yesterday when Af was there and like we were playing Fortnite. Like that's yeah. why it's like it's it's much better this way. Like if we did a podcast, it's Sorry. just. <laughs> It's just forcing us to like talk as opposed to just yeah, talking, which we normally do. Yeah, I used do. to like I'll never reveal it to anyone. 
But I used to have a podcast with my friends. Oh, uh, you sent we me some college. old stuff with your friends. You have sent me, you showed me oh, some yeah, stuff. Oh, yeah, but that was action videos. That those, was, those yes. Cool. Yeah, yeah, those were cool. Those hey, were cool. we had a boring podcast with my friends. And, dude, coming up with topics, it was a geek podcast, like, about, like, pop culture and stuff. Not Nothing political. But, dude, coming up with topics and forcing myself to go watch movies and stuff, I, it wasn't just as fun as just, like, talking and yeah. going to movies for fun. Like, it, yeah. it definitely wasn't. Honestly, I would love to do a podcast based on, like, different actual, like, fun themes. Like, if I did it, like, on the lore of a video game and you only had to post, like, if we didn't post every week and you could spend time. But at the end of the day, that's just a video essay, which is what I want to do anyway. I don't know. Polit mm. po podcasts, I think, are just overdone. <laughs> There's so many Yo, people doing them. video essays are cool, bro. I've been watching a lot of uh, video essays about speedrun. Oh, uh, yeah, no. Yeah, yeah. And stuff. So is Scrubs. Like, Scrubs has been sending not, me a bunch. Not only, like the world records of Mario Kart and how they were beaten and all that. Also, how this cheater was caught and stuff like yeah, that. They're yeah. so cool, dude. Yeah, so I, someone sent me a Celeste uh, one after I got the tattoo, and then Scrub recently sent me a Mario Kart one because we played Mario Kart, you and me, um, mm -hmm. on that one stream that I shall not be named. Um, <laughs> I hate it. I was so annoyed doing that stream. I had to cool down with Tetris of all things. Um, oh, yeah, I remember that. <laughs> I was going to even stream more that night, but dude, I got so burnt out. Um, from yeah. Mark. <laughs> no, honestly, I was so burnt out from school. You weren't here for the beginning of the stream. Oh, but okay. I was telling, I was explaining why I've been gone for so long. I was so burnt out from school. Oh, I no. actually wanted to stream much more because that's why I was like, oh, I'll keep streaming. I was gonna keep playing. I saw. You, you told me like you were gonna start streaming more and you were gonna start posting. More I know. I then... dude, I got so overwhelmed with it college. Really hard like right school. then, because I just had midterm week is the thing. Um, so Sorry. I just had a lot of midterms. What's up? Not to completely change the book, but are you caught up on The Last of Us? Dude, I was just about to mention it. I was just about to mention it. Okay. Have a one, Val. So, Good Rob, I hope you feel better soon. Sorry. Oh, Sorry. See you, Val. Yeah, well, no, you're I, good. I brought it up because of Have you watched episode. it, Val? Yeah, I'm, I'm caught up. On it. Okay, I've not I've, played the game, so I don't know how it ends. I've not played the game either, and the last episode comes out tomorrow. I know, I'm so happy. Uh, Ellie, have but you played the game or watched it? I watched the first game. Okay, real quick, I'm going to give everyone a recap. If any anyone isn't aware, I'm not going to spoil any of the game for you. I'm just going to tell you what The Last of Us is about in case, for whatever reason, you're not away. It's a, it's a show uh, or a game, I guess, at first, where um, there's an outbreak of a fungal infection, which basically turns people into zombies. Um, and you follow Joel and Ellie. Ellie ha cannot get infected. Not me. And <laughs> Ellie is an E-L-L-I-E. She's a, a little girl, like 14, who can't get infected. She's been bitten before and she was fine. And Joel, and they are like trying to, to I don't know, save the world or whatever. Okay, Roth, what were you saying? Um, in one episode, when they go this out last and... Try not to spoil too much because it's still new, but yeah. Right, right, right. Yeah, when, when, when they go out west and they have the joke about, so communism? Like oh yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Together, yeah, and it's yeah, like yeah. no, and it's like we live in a commune. This is communism. Yeah. And I, and I thought of that because I was thinking about it's just like honestly, if people just talk more, they realize that more in common. Like this is stuff my dad talked about all the time. He's like, yeah, but we moved closer to my brother and my sister, his his brother and his sister and their families, and just like kind of all like owned properties that all like bumped up against each other and like had different types of animals and all that and just helped each other out but like like he grew up during like the red scare and all that so like anything communism and socialism like branded mm. as that is just like huge like no type of thing but <laughs> it just you know what's so I funny of that is... and my older siblings sent i sent that to my older siblings she was like yeah that's 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 our dad <laughs> It's, it's like so he funny because wants that, and it's like that's what my older sibling wants. This is uh, like, this is um, yeah. I, I, I'm sorry. I keep trying to speak, and then I realize you're still speaking. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I don't mean to cut you off. Were you saying anything else? Uh, no, it's just like, um, yeah, that's something my dad always talked about growing up, and it's like my older sibling is like pretty far left, but also like the government is trash and like. All. The government is that, just like all out to Thank get you. everyone, basically. Um, but yeah, it's just like wow. It's like that's what my older sibling wants, is, and that's what they have said. Like they and their, some of their friends have like uh, 
I have like a little thing where it's oh, like, no, hey, can someone on. spot me 20 bucks? I need to go get this thing done and I don't have enough money for it. I'm dead too. So like they kind of help each other out type of thing. And But then it's like, if your brain has communism, my dad's like, oh, no, 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 no. Like, we are just helping each other out. And then he's like, yeah, cool. So, uh, so what I was going to say is this is straight up. Okay, Ellie, you're going to like, see you, Veta. you're going to make fun of me for this um, because I know you, but basically, um, I'll see you, Fede. I think I'll do the same talking in another language at 2am is really hard. I'll see you, Varmint. Bye, Varmint. Thank you for keeping up with chat. I've been so invested in this conversation. <laughs> uh, Ellie, you're dead. I am. Back out. Sorry, my bad. <laughs> um, so my dad was having a conversation with my sister and I, and um, he was like, listen, guys, um, I'm going to set up a trust for after I pass away. And so if you guys ever fall below uh, a, a, a minimum um, house income, you will get money from the trust, um, <laughs> which is just socialism. And one day, one day, like years ago, I had told him like, oh, dude, socialism is like pretty poggers, right? <laughs> And he was like very, he was like very clearly like, no, socialism's terrible. Like people get lazy, like blah, blah. But he's just invented socialism because socialism's just, if you fall below a certain line, you will be fed enough so that you can like, you know, continue to live and get back on track. Um, and it, like, he very clearly said like the money you make or the money I give you th from the fund, it won't give you anything great. Like you won't have a nice house. You won't have like cars. You won't have like you'll have like just enough food to survive, but it'll be enough to keep you alive. I was like, yeah, that's just- Why does that's just, he not uh, give you the money? Socialism. Uh, well, I don't know. I mean, I- I don't I, know how that works. I think the, the point- reason. I think the point was that like, so like if he oh, passes sorry. away, it's all good. Uh, I think we'll survive this no matter what. If he passes away and like my mom's still alive, like he would create a trust so that she would, cause he was like, oh, she, she, he, I don't know. This was a whole thing where he wasn't going to give her the money like to her hand. So he was like, he'll create a trust where she can like get some of it every month. And then she doesn't want to run away. She doesn't want your mom to run away with me. <laughs> Even though he's gone. I don't know, man. It was, it was a whole thing. That's like a whole different conversation. But yeah, he was like, I'm going to trust for her. And then, and then after that, like, you know, you'll also get money from the trust if, if you fall below a certain line. It was like, a, it was a whole thing. And I was just like, that, like, yeah, it's, it was very sloppily, like, explained to me. But at the end of the day, that is just socialism. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. Which, I, which I'm for. I mean, I would rather it's like. It's fine when when we do it, but it's yeah. not fine when them them people do it. Yeah, exactly. It's like, <laughs> oh yeah, no, no, like we're fine doing it, but like every all the others, no, they can't do it. Like that's like the the gist of it. It was like, it's okay, it's yeah, okay. I if mean, you do it because I care about you. But <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like I don't I, know. Them. Like I un I understand the point of people on the right who are just like no socialism, none of that crap because it's like the government. In my opinion, the government is yeah. corrupt, and it's they're all yeah. People, side. people are always against yeah. I guess, I guess that's but, why I'm middle ground because Canada is like right. It's yeah, not a socialist what, country, like, but it's I, also not like you have socialized healthcare though, and you've yeah, told us yeah, how yeah. you don't like it in certain ways. Which like you know, it isn't perfect. I don't think any system's gonna be yeah, perfect. No, I'm not gonna complain about it because yeah, yeah I'm not in debt. If, yeah, if yeah. Tomorrow I fall ill against like my will, like it wasn't my fault. Yeah, but. We pay a lot of taxes, and, I and don't, it's slower like, to get healthcare, right? Like when you do go. I mean, it, it, it is fairly slow, yeah. I've heard. It is fairly slow, yeah. But uh, what was I gonna say? Uh, sometimes you feel like it's unfair that, like, I haven't been to a hospital in so long, and I'm still paying taxes for healthcare, which kind of feels unfair. Fairish, but at the same time, yeah. I'm glad that it's like an insurance in a way. It is but, insurance in a way, because our real insurance is just disgusting. It's just it's yeah. scammy. But I mean, like, at least that, like, no matter what, you are helping someone, even if it's not yourself. Yeah, I'm the, helping the, someone. The, yeah. the last and, and, time and we you had know this what? conversation, my my opinion has drastically changed. Oh like, yeah, I'm for sure. Not fully flipped, but like, um, basically, but yeah, I'm I, on state-funded insurance now because that's the only insurance I can get. <laughs> because of my health problems yeah no other insurance company would take me unless we paid like like to get on mom's work insurance because she has insurance through her work it would be like 700 some dollars a month to add me to it which is just like no no so yeah, it's no. like yeah so like my opinion has paid some 
and it has changed some. It's like, yeah, it's just kind of finding the middle of ground of, okay, there are people who are lazy and would abuse the system given the opportunity. Like there are, are people oh, yeah. who do, but yeah. like there's also people who literally cannot like do it yeah. on their own. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So it's just kind of like, I think it balances like, out. It, at it's, the end. Yeah. it's flawed to think that everyone is like, yeah. Uh, it, yeah, it's extremely flawed to think like, oh yeah, I don't want this because everyone is gonna get lazy. I disagree. Big, I, I getting lazy is not as fun as people think. Like, I talked to dad, him in Arabic for four minutes straight. Go on. My dad does not work during the winter, so he relies on uh, health insurance, uh, employment insurance because he's seasonal. He like all his life he's been like a window cleaner, so he doesn't know to do anything else. Like, that's all he knows. And he can't really get another job. So, uh, it's not that he becomes lazy during the winter. He gets extremely bored. And he doesn't know what to do with his life. Because all he wants to do is to work. So That's the thing, right? There's there's always this he idea. He a team. Yeah. To, like, yeah. Like, yeah. he has to find something to there, do. There's always this idea that people yeah. are going to get lazy. But it's just that people are going to get bored. And they'll actually find something productive to do. Like, if we weren't working all the time, I think we would be, like... We'd be doing far cooler stuff. We'd have way yeah. better movies. That's one thing for sure, a hundred percent. I think. Like, it's a hundred percent necessary to work because how else would we fund it? No, no, a hundred percent. No, I get that. But like, yeah. also, if we weren't working this much, like, if if, for example, AI starts taking over certain jobs that don't need as much, like, for me, ideally, like, if AI started taking Just over. Look at supermarkets. Like, yeah. Check out. Yeah. Oh, oh, hello. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We're good. <laughs> Do you need to win? No, no, oh, no. Dude. I don't need anything. You need to show us I saw yeah, we, which we've already done Facebook, for sure. And it was just like old people are like, I'm never using the self-checkout check out again, yada, yada, yada. Who's with me? And I'm like, yes, please don't. Then I can use it. And yeah. It Bro. You do. Yo, I don't want to like start stereotypes or anything, but yo, you see like, you see the self-checkout checkout machine and you it's only old people, bro. <laughs> it's only old people at the cashier. And the cashier, there's like one cashier, C old H people. Is. And then there's okay, like okay. all the like... <laughs> Anytime there is old people at the self-checkout though, they're all, they always have a problem. And yeah. they're always complaining to the person that they're having a problem about something yeah, that they did wrong. And then they go on Facebook and complain about it. Like, ah. and I'm just like, don't use it then. Dude, I love self checkout. I can check out myself on the camera but, thingy. But then they're just like, yeah, use the cashiers at Walmart so people can keep jobs. And then they're like, then they complain about how the cashiers do their jobs. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's honestly, one thing yeah. I'm like a little bit you sad about. Like, some people <laughs> lost job to a machine, which I, I hate, but, but see, I also, this is, this I'm is super where, happy like, that. I wish, I wish <laughs> we managed, <laughs> I wish we had a man managed to have a shift in like just societal mindset where like we didn't see work as our number one thing to do because at the end of the day if ai progresses it would most likely take over a lot of jobs like we said accounting like stuff that does math like stuff that does like even like businesses and stuff like if you're like i think someone mentioned earlier in the chat it's been a couple hours but they were like oh people use ai to um see which stocks would like you know give them oh, yeah. ma maximum profit okay. stuff like that like all of that stuff, if AI does that for us, if it if it scans the all of the stuff it needs to scan to figure that stuff out, and it has a pretty good success rate, there's a lot of jobs that would get nullified, and just keeping them around would just be inefficient. And at that point, I think we just have to get to a point where we realize as a society, as a society that like, what are we here for? We're here to enjoy life, the few years that we have on this earth, and that's it. And I I would hope yeah. that at some point we would manage to create a system that like is self-sustaining without our help so that we can kind of do our own thing and like enjoy life you know yeah but like also that point, once we get to the point of technology taking over certain jobs like being careful not to immediately phase the jobs out in like yeah. a slow progression so that way people who are like so I say if we else. get completely replaced by uh, self checkout and cashiers just aren't a thing anymore. Like there are certain people who have literally worked at cashier like all their life and they don't know anything else. Yeah. yeah. It wouldn't be right to just like, all right, we're switching over to self checkout. Everyone else who's worked cashier and doesn't know anything else is just 
down on their luck I guess. But, but like that's you. that's but where like, we would that's where we would need like a shift in mindset where people don't need to work and we have some way to make sure everyone survives without everyone needing to work but that's but again know, that would that's like a work, very far like i, I noticed opinion, that that's a very far opinion work is not only about making money it's also about uh what is it not time wasting but uh it's not a hobby it's a time like it's a way to spend time there's so much time every day when you don't work life gets extremely more like when you have nothing to do yeah. well that's I, when we would create our own stuff to so, do right like that's that's yeah, why yeah. it would like i but mean ideally we would be able to create to work, stuff and like you know sort of kind of forces you to do something if you don't have to work anymore you like yeah there's things to do but you don't have to do them, so why? Yeah, but I think people will get bored after a while and be like, you know what? I have, I can yeah. do this thing. Why not? I try to do this thing. I don't know. It's honestly, this is Which like is such a I'm saying, far it's argument. It's to say that, that people, are, everyone is lazy when, like, with socialism or whatever. I think it's flawed because I do believe that people would get bored eventually. Yeah, it, honestly, well, this is such a far yeah. argument. Like, this is such a far gone situation because it's like it feels like it's in the near future of like ai taking over but also like but it it's could, just it could be soon like it no, could be super soon guy. no bro ellie you almost tried to kill me by the way i watched you do that yeah, I, was <laughs> I was purposely not going on your purple path Ain't no way AI will ever take over architecture because architecture is very complex. I see it helping flow of design. Yeah, so there are some uh, there de Seth, for the last, definitely Dude, some you jobs that, that you cannot take over you I, I think, think I think, think there's that, I would say there's a lot of jobs that you would still require a human around. I'm pretty sure. Like, I mean, there used to, growing up when I was younger, early 2000s, there's always jokes about robots taking over McDonald's orders because we like to hate yeah. on minimum wage workers who work in fast food. Yeah. Still after 23 years. Um, yeah. Still, but and then then it's like now there's now then like us one of the McDonald's and. A town that I grew up too close got like a kiosk thing, and people are like, oh, they're actually taking over, and then it's just like, oh, maybe they'll get our orders, right? <laughs> Yo, bro, people thought art would never be replaced because art, like, is a really human thing. But look at now. Look at now. Yeah, you but even now, like, it's not really replacing it. Like, they're just it's not stealing them, shit, and but, like, like, if humans never yeah. made art, it, you know, they would not have anything the to thing, base off of or steal. The thing is. Like, let's put aside the morality of it and the way it's done. Yeah. It's still... It's still possible to it is, make art it, it is still new, with AI, yeah. Which is, like, like, scary for me because I work in graphic design, but also proved anyone who said, oh, it's not possible to replace art because they kind of did it. Like, they're they making art, it, yeah. art of out of nothing. Based, well, not out of nothing, but out of... Like Words, a machine a prompt, without yeah. without a human. So so like I don't know. And even when if you, you don't use that specific, but like at the end of the day, just, like even if you don't use that specific design, like I would say generally you would want a human around to fix certain oh yeah, things. 100%. So I think so even with I architecture, have... you'd want a human around to make sure everything fit like works and to fix certain things. Because like even like if you look at AI art, even with what we've done. And even if it is stealing things, even if we put morality aside, it still like messes up eyes and feet and like anatomy and stuff like that. Like, it still yeah. needs a human eye to fix certain things. Yeah. So I think like, yeah, we're yeah, not, yeah, you know, if that makes sense. Yeah, no, I agree with you. Uh, what was I gonna say? Uh, yeah, if you say like architecture will not be, yo, we're so good, dude. We're so good. Is it just us? <laughs> yeah. Come here. Yep, all three of us. Aww. Oh, let's go. <laughs> you won. <laughs> I saw my body go down so, a little faster than yours. Yeah, when you grab someone, you go further down than them. Damn, can't mess with It's a glitch I figured out by learning. <laughs> <laughs> by but yeah, learning. I, I think, I think you saying, "Oh, this shelf cannot be replaced by AI." You cannot say that anymore. You don't know what's coming. Like you have no idea what's coming. I have no idea what's coming. We just don't know what's coming. And he said, "Come so many it, times and coming, it, I, bro." I'm, I'm I think, coming. It could happen. Okay, I think it, it could happen. <laughs> I don't know. My it, ideal world like, is one where AI does everything for us so we can actually enjoy our lives, but that's just me. <laughs> like, like I, <laughs> I, I, I would rather just... Because, like, I read this like one... Like Wally. I read this one tweet or Tumblr or something once that was just, like, um, 
Man, why are like who decided we need work a day to day job instead of just sitting on the beach eating grapes? <laughs> and I was just like, yeah, that's tr that's true. Like, hunter gatherer societies could yeah. just like <laughs> grab some. I grapes, think a good step you know, towards that chill. is what they're doing in I think it's France that is doing it or somewhere in Europe. They're doing four day weeks with no salary loss. Basically, your salaries like your. Uh, the check that you receive like basically they're increasing your salary so for yeah. four days of work yeah, they yeah, make yeah. the same amount for five that makes and sense. the the results are really promising i think that's a good step towards the, that dude it's like, just it's this crazy thing where people don't realize that when people are happier we're more productive <laughs> and like we just yeah, get exactly. more done like yeah. also like eight hour days stupid i would rather have like a six hour day i would get so much more done in a six hour day or four hour day oh, easy yeah, yeah, yeah easily yeah. dude well, when, when well, i sit down for like thing. an hour if i sit down for like an hour or two i get way more done than if i'm like oh i'm gonna spend all day working on this thing yeah that's another thing i remember seeing this guy i think it was it was a guy on tiktok um i think who does like a like a sewage and like plumbing company thing always has super good videos but he hired a guy and the guy was like really good at what he did and would finish what most people would do in a day in like half the time and he was like the guy was like can you find other jobs for me so that way i can like earn my keep and the guy's like you do the work in half the time it takes my other guys to do i'm not going to like punish you by giving you more jobs to do you're getting paid the same amount because you did the same job you just did it in half the amount of time so like that's another thing like assuming yeah. that people need to work a certain amount of time yeah to like yeah. Yeah, 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 to make yeah. it worth it when people work at different paces honestly if yeah. i got paid per work done i would make way more money like i or i would be like i would have way more free time basically than if i was paid yeah, by work is, per hour really dangerous because you might try to work faster and it is true it, work, it is true work. it's like again it's a nuanced like thing like you gotta point. you gotta figure because, out like a balance bro i'm one of the fastest at my work like i work really fast and and i do things pretty well because i'm pretty like when i work i get in work mode like, dude i've seen i've seen how you work for things that are just goofy like muff nothing yeah. stuff and yeah. it stresses me out because there's always things oh, yeah. i mean i know you're just messing around so it's not as important but it's like there's always like little things that you're like that are like not aligned properly and i'm like ellie <laughs> look fast look closer <laughs> yeah yeah no 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 because when i work for me i know it's for me it's just like when i cut my hair i don't care if yeah, i yeah. cut someone else's hair i'm like your hair always looks like... sexy as fuck when you send pictures though <laughs> thank you but just yeah saying. when i work for my work the the consequences of me messing something up is potentially ten thousand dollars <laughs> yeah <So>. yeah <laughs> yeah so you know yeah no 100 percent. when you mess but up yeah. on muff nuff and stuff it's not as important <laughs> like but even then i'm still like a pretty fast worker and i work pretty well i am always conscious about like what like if i get sick or something someone else is gonna have to work with my files so like i make sure that i have proper layers and everything and i do things pretty well i feel like if someone else did the same thing i did it would be slower and i don't know i i feel a little bit unfair that i still have to work eight hours and take more things than some other people who work eight hours and take less things but whatever so that's, that's yeah that is the thing with like honestly it sh i feel like honestly what it should be is i got a haircut today yo i hope it went well i hope it came out good my last haircut did not come out good i think um i i think it, i wish it was a thing yeah oh, oh yeah we noticed <laughs> um i wish it was a thing of like the standard is you work or you make money based on how much work you get done if it's a job that you can do that because obviously it's different for every job yeah and then if you are seen not getting work done properly and you're like clearly like you know not doing it right I mean, either you get fired or you just like have to switch to an eight hour work day or like whatever, a six hour work day or four hour work day, whatever they think is necessary. Cause I feel like that people would definitely be more productive. Like if I was a freelancer, I'd be much more pr productive cause I'd be just, you know, working based on how much work I have. Um, mm -hmm. So I just know like my, uh, my deadlines and like the things I need to get done. I don't know. Yeah. It's also Yo, like if people had jobs, so many people get like trapped in jobs they don't enjoy. Like I was, I got a job at a grocery store because I was like, it's something close. I can kind of work around it with college. And I just kind of felt like I was trapped there. And so I worked there for like seven years. Yeah. Yeah. And you're like, kind of scared of changing because 
yeah, yeah like I, you know. that part of it's just the way my brain works i hate like so much anxiety from changing things from the norm but also like the stress and just like working there like i was like yeah dying because this was like, also, I, it's I, like I hate it here it's like a security because you, you have like your check yeah. every like couple of weeks or days or whatever yeah. it is and then changing is a risk because yeah i, I get you yeah, that, yeah, honestly, so like, I, I've been looking I mean, for a job for college, and I that was stressing me out too. Like that same concept. I'm dead, boys. But yeah, it's like having a job. Like, okay, if you're just getting a job so you can get money to make it through a time, like that's one thing. But like, do I just back up? No, no, win. What the heck? Job, Are you kidding me, Ellie? I don't care. I don't need to win. But you could have <laughs> gotten. Just doing your challenges. Could have gotten crowns. <laughs> like having a job that you enjoy. Like I feel like should be number one. And so it's like, oh yeah. Because I have a job now that I enjoy. Like the money oh, yeah, has, changes has been less because it's commission work, so it's like more inconsistent. So that's another stress that I add from it. But like, also I don't want to drive myself off. The but the the, the, from work. <laughs> the the stress is kind of worth. The, yeah. Because I I know what like. I was doing graphic design and I loved it, but there was something to it. Like, it's not for me. It's it's not things that I'm passionate about. It's something that I have to do because, you know, it's a job. But now that I'm like doing like part time that thing and I'm focusing on like streaming and stuff, I'm having way more fun, you know? Yeah, and for I'm, sure. There is the stress of like, what if I don't make enough next month or whatever, but it's still yeah. worth it's still worth the fun I'm having. <laughs> Yeah, and, I mean, like, that's kind of how it is with me now, because it's like, pretty much a lot of it has been basically like, one income for the household, which I feel terrible about, but also I'm not driving an hour round trip, six mm -hmm. days a week, Yeah. Yeah. to make $14 an hour, <laughs> like, <laughs> so it's like, and with yeah. gas prices going up and prices everything going up, so it's like, it's not really, we haven't been really missing out on that much money for me not having a staple check, but like, yeah, also, a lot of my projects should be releasing soon, so then nice. and, like, I finally got paid for my HelloFresh sponsorship, so that was, like, super sick. Hey, let's go. You got sponsored by HelloFresh? Yeah, through uh, the stream element stuff. Mm -hmm. That's the that only, sick. like, good one that I've had the most have been, like, Macarena or Raid Shadow Legends, and I just didn't accept those because I'm, like... I don't know that I'll actually enjoy those games, and I don't want to do a sponsorship or something that I wouldn't do. Yeah. But also, I'm kind of like, what if I could make money off this? <laughs> but also, with the, the Rage Shadow Legends, it's like, you need five people to make it this far in the game, and like, bro, most time I don't even get yeah. five viewers, but you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> appreciate it. <laughs> hey, thanks, Ali, for giving me so many viewers today. <laughs> oh, it's all good, dude. Yo, but, HW, yeah. I don't want to scare you, but I'm just saying. It's not impossible. It's, it's actually it's still not impossible. I, 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 I honestly... I just read the message. I wouldn't try to even try to guess where we're headed with AI. Like, we got so much happening. We'll we, we have no idea. Like, like you're talking about fire safety. What if you teach the AI what could potentially cause a fire? And, like, all the calculations behind it and what materials and whatever. Like, like you, you just don't know what you can do with AI. Yeah. Like, it's... It's scary sometimes, but like yeah, you yeah. cannot just be like, yeah, it's impossible to replace. Because I thought art was never gonna be replaced. That's one of the reasons I got into graphic design was because I was like, yeah. we're always gonna be needing art, no matter if like there's there was before AI was a thing. There was this debate about like print is gonna die. Like people because of the screen, the, because of computers, no one is ever gonna use paper anymore. Everything is gonna be digital, which is better for the environment. But then that just created a new like, you know. Print, print never dies because there's still packaging out there. People have to buy uh, products that have packaging on them. Oh, oh, what was that? No. The, the, you see, and now we're talking about AI potentially erasing us, you know? Like, we just never know what's going to happen. And at first I was like, oh, yeah. Age of Ultron moment. Yeah. <laughs> at first I was like, yeah, art is never going away. But then you realize that, yeah. ooh, maybe. Yeah, yeah I mean, there's like a, just an inch kind of, of doubt. A, a added. strong word there for art currently but like it yeah it is learning like the ai is learning and like like yeah. where where we're at currently it just adds that little sprinkle of doubt that's all it is exactly exactly yeah, yeah, i yeah. i think it's literally i think all ellie is saying is just like 
it's yeah, I'm not saying like, it's, gonna, it's be not gonna be replaced. I'm There's not, just a yeah. possibility that it could be yeah, just yeah. based on what we know. It's not impossible. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, look, it's another moment of nuance. <laughs> Dude, I honestly, I that word pisses me off so much because it's been such an important wor word. Like, I had I had a, a world history class, and um, one of the teachers, like the not one of the teachers, the teacher asked, like, what do you guys think is the most important word in history and politics and like all that stuff? And I said nuance because I was like, you know, that like that is essentially the most important thing in all politics and all that stuff is just having an the ability to kind of like see both sides and like not be super that's extreme. A good question. And I now I just hate the word because it it's it's always the word that I have to resort to because it's always the thing that comes into every single argument or conversation I have because at the end of the day everything is just like if you're super extreme about everything you're just you know where where are you gonna get you where's that gonna get you? I think you? for me the most important word would be respect, which in turn would sort of kind of become nuanced in a way because yeah you, you gotta respect other the other person to like under, understand yeah. their opinion yeah, uh, no, yeah, yeah i'm so respect. sorry roth i just killed you that's oh. totally my bad <laughs> i hit jump but i kind of like didn't jump and i just kind of clipped the edge okay i'm gonna blame your controller too yeah it was all your controls fault i didn't do anything actually yeah yeah uh, <laughs> it's because i was listening and talking and i don't know that was a game. really good question though yeah. Like hard talk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it made me really think. I was like, what is my most important one? Yeah, mine has always been nuanced because d from all the classes I've taken in politics. Titty. Titty, my, yeah, no, that's my favorite word. Are you still laughing? Yeah, I'm, I'm good. Dude, we're way too good at this game. Yeah, let's back out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good, yeah, I win. You and me again. Oh, I didn't oh win. God. Oh, there's one more I'm person. Too good at dude, oh, that's... it was you. You were the one more person. <laughs> I'm an idiot. <laughs> I thought I thought I saw you die earlier. Ah. I don't know. All right, my mission is done. I've got one more mission, which is to get three duo fi finales. Do you want to do them with Raw? Uh, it's up to you guys. <laughs> I mean, I don't, I don't mind. I don't mind sitting out. I've played too much. All right, Ross, get in here. Let's get this. All right. If we I gotta, you guys can do we it. don't make it after a couple like. Take me out of the game, coach. Like, <laughs> <laughs> all right, bet. <laughs> now we got this. It's easy. Let's watch your stream. Yeah, for real. I think. I think it's good. Good. I have been keeping up with all guys challenges, but I just need three yeah. finals, which we can get a win Ooh. easy in three finals. I honestly, if we don't get the finals in the stream in the next like 30 minutes, maybe I might just dip. Honestly, we don't need like the full. Do we need the full? Did you get every single part of your challenge done on stream, Ellie? Uh, wait, wait, can you repeat that? I was reading a message. Did you get every single part of your challenge done on stream? Like every single challenge thing? No, I did. Yeah. I did the hexathon one with you in the call. Okay, I might do the duos one call later because I'm getting tired of streaming. <laughs> <laughs> I got pissed again, bro. I've, I've drank so much water this stream. I finished an entire bottle. I saw an app that assists animators by using the colors from one family of the project to color in the rest. I feel tools like those are the right direction for AI. Yeah, that's the thing, right? Like, there's some professions where I think the AI could just replace it, and I think there's some professions where it could just help. But even, like, in any professions where, quote-unquote, they replace it, I think it would just take less people to just... Make sure the AI is doing the right thing throughout the day, right? Like, yeah. Just keep an eye on it, which is essentially augmenting it. You just need less people to work on it because you're getting everything done faster, which would get people out of jobs still. So it's still important to like have a backup for those people, which is why I think there would need to be a shift in society at some point. But yeah, we were talking about this when we went to the bathroom. Yeah. Yeah. Well, like uh, AI assistant yeah, versus yeah. AI replacement. Yeah, because I was saying like the best example I have is Photoshop came out with a feature that basically rotoscopes the item and you just like click on it and it basically outlines it and then it deletes it. You can literally replace it. And yeah, Adobe's got some crazy useful. stuff. Adobe yeah. has some crazy and it, stuff. And it's all AI that helps you be more productive compared to AI that tries to replace you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But I feel, yeah, AI that helps is really good. 
How am I this far yeah. behind? Oh my god. I've been robbed. You've been rocked. I was like the fifth one here and then I just didn't springboard. And I went off the edge. I think we'd still win this thing, we're good. There we go. Dude, I don't even know what to name this VOD, honestly. This has been such a weird one. I feel like normally we're just goofy funny, Solving and the this one got... Problem. Yeah, for real. One full guy's game at a time. Yeah. Dude, that's actually kind of a banger title. <laughs> <laughs> Solving the world's problems. One fall guy's game at a time. Because we're normally so goofy, and this one was like... It was goofy, but it was also like, it got real sometimes. It got like, interesting. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> No, you guys call me old like 10 times. <laughs> 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 no, nah, that was a good stream. I came in here though with like a good attitude, I think. Some streams I come in and I'm like, I think people might be able to tell sometimes that I'm just like not feeling it. I think this time I came in with a very like, you know. Honestly, usually we end up like absolutely destroyed from these stupid Fall Guys streams. And I think the fact that we were just talking, <laughs> yeah, no, for real, so trash. <laughs> and honestly, I think we played pretty well. Like normally, it takes us yeah. four hours to do everything. We did it in about uh, less than three, yeah. and I mean, and we we just didn't play too bad the whole game. And there were a yeah. lot of losses that really pissed me off. You know, there was like maybe two yeah, or three losses that we're were bad. Right, that's just <laughs> we're bad. It's just because we're like better than everyone we're, we're else. Good, yeah. Next like we... controversial topic. <laughs> uh, no, I there's a meme that always makes its round around, makes its way around Facebook for me a lot, and it's just like restaurants having like a little thing on the table that's a QR code that you scan for a menu instead of like bringing you a menu, and people are always like, oh, I'm with the boomers on this one, give me a real menu, and I'm just like, I would rather have the QR code because then I don't have to like. Usually they sanitize the menus and write them down to two people, but like, I would just rather- Yeah, I would not risk that, to be honest. Then not doing that. I'm, just I'm also like, just like, not that pressed about it, bro. It's like a menu, like, yeah. chill. <laughs> like, it's not that big a deal. Yeah, like, because... if you're getting upset about how a menu is presented to you, just don't go to a restaurant, I guess? I don't, I don't know. Like, don't pay for anything, just go home. <laughs> I don't know. Please. How long does it take for this one to get back over here? Alright. I'm pretty good at when this setup in the middle at the end of it, you know? If that makes sense. Like that setup of them just being this standard uh, lily pads, that's not that bad. So I'm not gonna hopefully get body blocked by this idiot. I feel like the music's banger. Like I feel like they, they changed some of the music maybe. Or maybe I'm just like re-listening to it after so long. But it's so upbeat. Such a vibe. Such a vibe. Whew. I think the stream's slowly winding down. I think we can all tell we're all getting tired. I heard Ellie yawn like three times and he made me yawn. <laughs> to be honest, no, I, no, I, no, I, almost, I almost did not show up. I, dude, honestly, it wouldn't have been fine if you didn't want to. Like, I knew you You said you said you might be able to. Yeah, I was like, because I really wanted to, and then it's like, after the UHC, I was just kind of like, beat, and like, my head has been like, killing me the entire time, but like, yeah. no, it's probably, it's probably Oh, fine. yeah, no, for, I don't know why, but after the UHC, I got a headache too, and then I just took a little nap and got ready for stream. Yeah, we both <laughs> stayed up super late and then woke up just for the USC. Dude, that's crazy. I haven't played Fortnite today, dude. Oh no, poor you. <laughs> dude, I've been trying to resist playing until Sunday. Cause that's until like... Sunday? Why? Good stream. I was gonna do that, but then oh, okay. I was like, yo, dude, that's like. Well, it's like, days. I was like, okay, maybe I won't do it this time. And then, like, yesterday, I wasn't really home much. And I was like, ah, oh, cool, it's whatever. And then today, I was like, yeah. I don't know. It just kind of worked out that. Because uh, I was like, after the UHC, I was like, maybe I'll try to get some Fortnite in. And then I was like, nah. Yeah, yeah. I assume well, you're you not hopping to in out. tonight, right? Ellie? Are I you going to hop in? I might. God. I might. I'll see if I'm Unless up. Unless you need me for duels later. 
Uh, I I actually might. I think I'm gonna end after this one because I got pissed and I also just I'm I'm like winding down. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, honestly, like I try to do long streams, but I can't always do them. I think like four hours is pretty good. So maybe yeah. we can do one more and then I might I might head out, which means I'll need someone. But um. I might join you for Fortnite. Dude, I can't wait for The Last of Us to drop tomorrow. I don't know what time it drops our time. So I, I think it's like 10 p.m. EST or EDT or whatever. 10 p.m.? Oh. Or 9. Because I'm, I might, be <laughs> I might stream tomorrow. Honestly, okay, I might stream tomorrow, but also I got a video I want to get up by Wednesday, so I might just edit all day tomorrow, which oh, means I'll so have time. Time change as well. Is it? it yeah. Oh wait, really? Wait, daylight savings? I don't know if I, I don't know if I have daylight savings anymore in New Jersey. It is daylight. Oh my gosh, that means the 2am is going to be 1am. Oh, even better for us. Maybe it's already 1am. No, 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 it's, no, it's not. It's the other way. It's spring forward. Oh. So, at 2am is going to be 3am. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Roth, if you make it, I think we'll qualify. He's going to skip two. He's going to skip two. Oh my God. Good job, Roth. Um, wait, so it goes from, what'd you say, from 2 to 3? Or from 1 to 3? I think so. Or like 2 to 4. Or it skips 2. Well, it's 1 right now. 1 plus. It, it would be 2. It goes 1. It goes plus 1. Yeah. We've, we've been in call before where the daily things happen. It's during yeah, fall yeah, back. March 12th, 2020. <laughs> yeah, wait, we no. Were we in call during a fall back or spring, spring forward? It was a fall back. But we've been many back. times. We've been many times. We had the conversation about twins being older even though they were born oh, yeah, yeah. before or something like that. I don't remember. <laughs> we had a weird conversation about that. I, I remember oh, I, once I remember we saw that. the time and we were like, we were super confused because we were like, wait. I thought we'd been here for way longer, or maybe it was just like I didn't think we'd been here that long. And it, it, one of them, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Daily things is weird, man. I I want to get I want to get rid of that shit. I think we're getting rid of Same. it in New Jersey for Some sure. Some people are, yeah. I think we're getting I, rid I of it. Canada, Canada is waiting for the states to get used uh, to get rid of it before we do it because we're a bunch of sheep. Already. <laughs> yeah. I mean, like freaking Arizona doesn't have it. And maybe another state, but I'm just like, like, okay, whenever I talked about it, how stupid it is, I would always get like people who weren't farmers saying, well, the farmers, because originally it was, yeah, it was the farmers. Anymore. Stuff. And so that's what people talk about, all the farmers. And I'm like, dude, when I actually went places, like the job at the grocery store, I had come home from night during the summer at like 10 p.m., pitch black outside, those farmers in the field still, oh. they have giant. Headlights on Sorry, Rod. their tractors Oof. and all that, then it's like, so it doesn't really matter that much anymore. Bro, I just don't understand why we have time zones. I honestly don't understand. I, I guess why in the past, but nowadays I don't understand with like how it's so easy to talk to someone that is in another country. I feel like what does it change that it's 8 p.m. and you just woke up? Yeah, no, I was all... I was thinking the same thing. What if we just all had the same time? Ooh. Yeah. Um, if we had one time. And exactly. then you, you just have to figure out, like, okay, 10 p.m. for me is nighttime, but it's for day. you, it's daytime. Like, as long yeah. as you know that, then you can just decide, okay, I'm free 10 p.m. Sunday, and then everyone can exactly, figure that out. Exactly, yeah. Yeah. I, don't I, I don't know. <laughs> I see why, but I feel, I feel like we would all benefit from having one time. I don't yeah. care which one it is. I don't. Dude, I don't care if it's like 8 p.m. and it's. It's. it's, it's it would probably be GMT or whatever <laughs> that one is that everything's based yeah, off, right? Yeah, it's the Universal UTC. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Or UTC. That's it. Um. Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't mind that. I. I don't. Honestly, I think we're at that point. Uh, almost Stop there. Stop grabbing me. Society, yeah. I, I feel. Society. Oh, uh, so honestly, I think it was like a great uncle or something who I like. Who, like died before I was born, but like kind of vibe with him. He like refused to pay taxes and also refused to change his clock for daylight savings. And I just, that's kind of a vibe, honestly. <laughs> just like, I'll be like this guy with a Uh, you might be what able to make it. Why can't I jump? What is this? Oh, you're stuck on the wall. Go back and then jump. Okay, I'm done. This is stupid. I literally uh, went back and tried to jump so many times and it just wouldn't. Yeah, I saw that. It's all good. I hate this game. This game is 
Yeah, there's a delay here. I thought the you boys... figured it out, but then you just... <laughs> yeah, I, th th I thought you figured it out too, but I, I couldn't tell. I kept, I kept going back, and I kept thinking it was far enough back, but evidently not. Boys, I, I, I think I'm now. done, yeah, yeah, I, I need yeah. to get up and maybe eat some food. My parents brought cake back from dinner because they went out for dinner, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat a little bit. Uh, I might hop and call later. And have it. And have it too. Good conversation. And you know what? If you want to have more good conversation, um, go follow um, twitch.tv yeah, slash LED Maker. Discord. No, go follow. Yeah, it's, it's a whole different vibe. But, but yeah, Discord, I would I would say uh, Ellie's Ellie's stream is definitely more family friendly. Roth, yours isn't, right? Uh, depends on who I'm with. I mean, that's like, the same thing. Usually, for me, real but, like, world stuff I don't really talk about just because. I mean, honestly, uh, neither my, do I. I don't think just, my my audience doesn't like super like it too much. Usually, I feel like, but yeah. I like my audience. I think they have. I think I've gotten like a, a lot of the mature people from Ellie's side, and they're yep. like more like you know willing to have conversation. I'm I, I'm glad that you know everyone's like respectful and stuff we didn't have too much fighting in the chat or anything yeah yeah ellie dude you're old as shit <laughs> <laughs> dude um, i had no idea roth was 26 dude i thought you were young dude i was, I, I was yeah. you got married young i was pretty sure he I mean, wasn't yeah. that you're not 26 yeah, yeah. kind of yeah, I, I was pretty sure he May. wasn't that like old as, or as young as yeah, you were saying. In May. And that's why I was so confused. I was like, there's no way he's that young. <laughs> like, Dude, there's no way mind, he's like 12, bro. In my mind, Roth got married like super young. And he did. But I, I thought for, for some reason, I thought he was like 23, 22 or something like that. I mean, there I was is like, not a single well, person alive. married in 2019. Yeah, 2019. All right. Well, so YouTube. Like four years. So I was like, yeah, I was like almost 23 when I got married. There you go, guys. It's been fun hanging out with you. YouTube, Mom was... YouTube. Thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna try to just close off YouTube because I was like trying to get my word in. Yeah. YouTube, thank you so much for watching. Um, I don't know what this title of the vod's gonna be, but I, you know, we we just solved all the world's problems. You're very welcome. Thank you. Goodbye. <laughs>